she she will appear at one point in uh, in your adventure and uh, and uh, it, it's it's fine if she stays uh, with us for for what's happening in between because anyway i suppose you will tell her from a meta level perspective at one point she'll be aware of uh, what you guys have been doing and uh, what's your situation so let's not make things too complicated okay zia you're here uh, well, I can see the menu on the right and everybody's names down there, but the middle part, the map part, is still moving. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm going to, to read to you the, the rules for chases. Chases. So mm -hmm. uh, they say that chases work like normal combat between uh, the, the, the characters and uh, active monsters, okay? So there is dashing, dashing. During a chase, participants can freely use the dash action. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Okay. Uh, can you put yourself on mute, Andrea? Meanwhile? Yeah, sorry, sorry, I will. Oh, thank you. Okay, so during a chase, a participant can freely use the dash action a number of times equal to three plus its constitution modifier. Say that again. Okay, so that makes okay for uh, a dash. So during the chase, mm. okay, and it's uh, it happens uh, during a normal combat between uh, the, the PCs and the monsters. So you can use a freely a dash action, a number of times equal to three, so three, right? Plus your constitution modifier. <laughs> so plus zero then, got it. <laughs> I see, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, a participant can only take one free dash action per round on their turn. Oh, as a free action? Yes. Oh, okay. On their turn. But uh, that will be uh, during combat uh, if uh, there are too many monsters. Let's put oh, it I see. Okay. okay. So that's uh, that's kind of uh, the chase framework. Then okay. uh, you can take more free dash action during the chase. So if you have expanded all your stuff, all your um, dash um, turns or uh, ac activation. If you have used them all, you can do it. Uh, you can add an additional one, but you must succeed a DC 10 constitution check. Okay. So basically it means uh, you start to, to be breathless and uh, exhausted mm. if you fail. Uh, on a failed check, you gain a one level of exhaustion at the end of your turn. Okay. So for actions during the chase, Participa participants can take action as normal. We can make attacks, cast spells, and so on. Wow. Um, okay. Just a note to that. So once we reach a second level of exhaustion, our mm. speed is halved. So that <laughs> gets pretty scary pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, go without me. I'm just a dead weight. Yep, <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. Carry yeah. me. Okay. Leave me. No, <laughs> carry me. What are you talking about? Fly, you fools. Uh, okay. Carry um, me. I'm uh... just 15 kilos. Don't you dare leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Negotiating already. I see. I see. We don't even know you. Who are you? <laughs> okay. It sounds like a fun part. Uh, yeah. And uh, because everybody, uh, when there are dash action and when you are in a chase, because everybody is, uh, is like uh, running and doing stuff, uh, it is assumed that there are no opportunity attacks. Ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just have... uh, oh, sorry, go ahead, please. And then what happened, uh, we will see, uh, we will see, <laughs> we will see uh, during the, the chase. Kyo, Kyo, can I just read back a couple things to you? Make sure I got this right. Yep. So actually, if you check the chart, I wrote it all down, so we have it there for reference. Uh, Where's the, uh, okay, there? thanks. Yes. Where's the uh, chart? The chat. In the, in the dialogue oh, box. The chat. The chat. Hold on. I've got too many windows open. 
Oh yeah. Oh my god. This is what I'm looking for. All right. Oh. Um, okay. This thank you. Up. Thank you, Andrea. So there will be no opportunity Welcome. attacks that we can do or anyone. Anyone, right? Because we are just running like a headless chicken. Okay. So so three free. So in other words, normally in in a in a turn, um, you get an action, a bonus action, a reaction, and a free action. And movement. Yeah. So here for the dash, we could do that as a free action up to three times. So basically three times our movement in any one of our turns without No. No, no it's not in a turn. Oh. So the in, turn in sequence is the same. The same, yeah. So yeah, the turn sequence is the same, just that we can use the dash action as a free action. Normally it's not a free action. Okay. And so you, you can you can okay. still use only one per turn. And once we've but, exceeded three, then we have to roll for con. Exactly, because we get tired. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Okay, so it depends on that. Like how many turns you use, that makes sense. All right. And your exhaustion. And then during the chase, so while you're running. You can do any normal action um, or bonus action or reaction, but no opportunity attack. So if you use yep. a dash action, you can't do anything else during your turn, just dash and that's it? No, free, free action um, is just free action. So the rest of your turn is the same as usual. Action, Regular action and bonus action, same as usual. Yeah, normally, in a normal situation, you will use your action for it. Okay, so it's like a mother action, basically, like, yeah, okay, additional yep. action. Yeah, it's a free action. Yeah, kind of like the dash, dash for free three times. Yeah, unless you have a constitution bonus. Which uh, will be me, I guess. Not me. <clears throat> All right, so everything is clear? Yes, it is. Okay, well, then, then that's clear even for me, but <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, uh, there's one thing that I forgot is uh, what time is it over there now? It's a bit important. Over where? Time of the day. We said it was uh, two two in the afternoon when you you reach the chapel. Oh, reach the chapel. Well, actually, it was quite early. Earlier. Actually, yeah, because we went we went directly to the chapel. We did it in a comfortable way. I think it was around 10 o'clock. Yeah, probably. Okay. okay. So I have here the last thing was 8.50 a.m. We found the burnt bones regenerated. Oh, that was that was at night. Never no, mind. no, no. That was during the day. It was during the day? Yeah. 7.30, we arrived at the village. Oh, this is when we came back from the camp. Yeah. Yes. And yes, then yes, at 8.30, yes. we redug the grave of Eldame. And then at 8.50, we found the burnt bones regenerated. And then we went to the chapel. Okay, so let's say it's around nine. Nine, or shall we be okay at nine? Yeah, sure. Okay, so anyway, that's, that gives us some reference. So yes, it's uh, it's now the, the full uh, full uh, full day is uh, is uh, well on, and you have uh, all those uh, uh, horrible noises uh, surrounding um, uh, the chapel, and you perfectly know those are skeletons uh, accumulating uh, at each window on uh, each door, and for some reason they are, they are not penetrating. Uh, you have uh, the small altar on the skeleton uh, on the floor. This skeleton has uh, three fingers uh, missing uh, and is uh, completely inanimated uh, on the floor. The small al altar, you have uh, you have a statue of uh, Saint Sidvelda on a, on a god. Saint Sidvelda is uh, kneeling uh, toward the god. It's a, it's a god of light. Uh, in in the back, you have the, um, the tomb of the saint. On, a, on a, the, the tomb, uh, you see the hands. On, a, on top of the hand, there is a, a, a box of uh, made of glass. And inside this box, there is a hand. You assume it's the, the hand of Saint Silvelda. On, uh, on the northern corner of the chapel, you have a trap. And on the southern uh, side of the, of the chapel, you have a some sort of uh, library, a bookshelf. All around you have uh, offerings in gold and silver, uh, bracelets, uh, 
just uh, all kind of offerings that the pilgrims uh, have brought. As I mentioned, the, the chapel looks uh, reasonably well maintained, not as if it was uh, in you, um, as if someone was in charge uh, daily, but it's, uh, it's relatively uh, well maintained and you're a bit surprised uh, uh, that the, the state of the chapel is, is actually quite good for, for being abandoned for 50 years. And uh, on the top, bottom uh, south of, of the map, you have those stairs that start spiraling up uh, towards uh, probably uh, the, the, the bell of the chapel. Um, so you're a bit nervous now because uh, you you are completely uh, surrounded by all those uh, noise of uh, of really angry uh, skeletons, and there are a lot of them. Um, you, you haven't counted exactly how many, but uh, you you guess that there are dozens and dozens of them, if not more. And it's 9 a.m. and your heartbeats are very very fast at this point. Okay, so first things first, as I said last time, I would like to take the hands, the, the relic, and put it inside the, the wooden box we purchased. Which uh, wooden box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I, I we, purchased, we purchased a wooden box in the city for this purpose. Okay. Uh, maybe you want to do, to do something special with this hand or you just uh, just put it in your box? Try it on. Cut off your own hand and try it on. <laughs> <laughs> what could one go idea, wrong? Do we want to bring it closer to one of the windows and see if the skeletons back away? Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, who is going to carry the hand? I'm going to carry it. It's fine. So you open the box, uh, uh, Tony opens the box? Yes. Okay, so you open the box and uh, you see that the hand is uh, strangely uh, well uh, preserved. Um, and uh, I suppose you, you pay a great care because you don't really know if it's, uh, if it's um, evil or good or if it's going to, to just collapse into your, your own hands. And uh, you you take it out uh, delicately out of the box, and it's uh, you are holding it. You are looking at it. And uh, I want to put it inside the small wooden box. Yeah, it fits. There's no so with uh, I suppose dev, uh, a lot of difference. You you put it back. You put it inside inside your box. Okay, then I watch. Um, Carl, you say you said you wanted to check the skeleton reactions. Let's have a look at it. So I bring the hand to a window, close to a window, mm. with the open wooden box to see if the skeletons have any reactions to it. So uh, uh, quite uh, shakingly, you you bring the, the box uh, towards uh, one of the windows and. Uh, you see across uh, uh, the mouth opening, uh, uh, opening mouth of uh, those skeletons with the decaying teeth, and they are growling and still looking at you. And vivid. you don't know if they have eyes or not, but uh, you you feel penetrated by their sight. I just close the box and um, <laughs> and move away from the window. Yeah, basically no effect. Uh, no yeah. effect. No effect. Yeah, yeah. So that's not it. So why are the skeletons not coming inside other than our, our, our brave party of adventurers? They must I just think, be afraid of us. That's it. Yep. I think I think this Hold church it. might still be a holy ground for them. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. probably consecrated or something. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Jill, so you said there were books around? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, unfortunately, my... Uh, uh, let me... Uh, let me take uh, some kind of uh, uh, character to, to show. Um, I cannot point on, uh, on the stuff on the, on the map. You can't. No. So I, I'll take uh, I'll take uh, an icon for that. Okay. 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 So yeah, the, the library is here. Do you see oh. the icon? Okay. Yeah. Well. You can you can if you click and hold you can uh, you can point to an area. I, I have a. Uh, a Mac, and uh, I just have, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? The, um, 
Touchpad. Yeah, the touchpad. Huh. Okay. I'll ask my friend about that. He uses yeah. Mac with us too. Yeah. Okay. I can't do it on my touchpad either. Interesting. Only with the mouse. Huh. Wow. That's new. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah. I'm just going to go there and read some books. Okay, so most of uh, the books uh, uh, seems uh, very old and uh, all rotten with humidity and covered with mold. And uh, you pick uh, uh, one or two um, uh -huh. beyond your your uh, your initial uh, reaction of disgust. You they are just uh, are just a bit. Um, you you may open them, but they will just. That's discussing on unreadable. Uh, if you do for me uh, some kind of uh, search, uh, maybe we oh, can find something. I can search investigation. Yeah. Uh, not really good at it because I'm just a teenage girl. Oh, hello. That's a 15. Uh, okay. So, yeah, the, be, behind the. Uh, all those uh, books, uh, actually, when you start to make them fall on the floor, you see one uh, one thing that is uh, enveloped uh, in a in a lever, uh, some sort of lever envelope. Um, Guys, I found the secret door. It looks like a, it looks like a, a journal. A journal. Journal. A journal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Never mind. I found a oh, journal. So you open the, the lever on. Um, and uh, it has apparently uh, survived the years uh, almost uh, intact. Ah, okay. Whose journal is it? Uh, it's not. Uh, it doesn't take you long ah. to see that uh, it's a Brothers Martin uh, journal. Does Brothers Martin ring a bell for any of you guys? Sorry, guys. May I ask you something out of game? Yep. I'm experiencing a bit of lag. If you called deactivated your video, uh, okay, I think sorry, it will be better. Ah, sure. Thank you, guys. Okay. So, 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 no worries, no worries. Okay, I'm off. Thanks. Thomas Morton was the uh, priest that my aunt has been looking for. He's the, the, the man that, that she wants the body returned. This is wonderful. Yes, indeed, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is a. <laughs> this is not. <sighs> yes. Isn't it? Isn't it wonderful? Yes. It is I wonderful. am a bad girl. Yeah. Girls just want to have fun, huh? <laughs> I'm just curious. You you may browse a, f uh, a few lines in it, and actually, uh, what uh, catches uh, you really um, your, your attention is the last last entries uh, in the journal. Is he, basically uh, the tone starts to be anxious, and uh, he is talking about the, the terminal illness of uh, Patrick Hart. That may ring a bell to you, Patrick. That's the skeleton that we. we oh, met in that's the dude in yeah. the marshes, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's him. Uh, and he's mentioning about uh, also there's an entry of about uh, bad dreams he had about uh, the witch they hung uh, recently and bur buried uh, beneath a row one tree. Okay. And also, something that catches your attention is. Uh, his worries about uh, the children, some of the children uh, of, uh, of the town that were playing far too close to the old barrow uh, mm. among in the marshes. They must be the ghouls. Well, were, actually. But then... and, that's, that's, uh, and that hands no, no more entry uh, from 50 years ago. Interesting. I think I'll pocket the journal. Because, yeah, I'm breaking the girl clothes. Well, be careful with it. We gotta, we gotta bring it back to Auntie. Do we see any ring there? He was supposed to have this. Must be him. The, the, this, uh, this body, but this missing fingers. He was supposed to have a ring. Uh, that's a good him. point. So it's just that that's the wrong hand to to wear uh, such a, a ring. That's the wrong hand to wear the ring. Yeah. So maybe this is not the body. We don't know. But he's dressed <laughs> like a monk. You said before. Uh, uh, no, no, no. He's not just dressed like like a monk. He's dressed in a. 
in clothes that uh, may evoke uh, evocate someone who is uh, working in maybe with uh, at the sea, maybe a, um, a seaman or, or sailor or fisherman. Some okay. right. I see. Good finds, sis. Low five. Yeah. Uh, no five. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> unless you want to jump. <laughs> uh, so I want to gather up any of this silver and gold, or do we do feel? So, if you good? don't mind, guys, I would like before we check the trap door, I would like to check if there is anything interesting in the bell tower. Yeah. So I'm going to check upstairs. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, so for the, the sake of uh, easiness, and it doesn't change uh, much, uh, can uh, can we just focus on uh, on uh, Tony, and then uh, we'll come back to to the, the other part of the chapel. So, indeed, uh, Tony, as you, how do you climb uh, those uh, those stairs? You just uh, go there, or I'm not going to let her go by herself. There's no way. <laughs> not be gentlemanly. Okay. Uh, as you climb Thank up you. Uh, wow. the stairs, you you can see that uh, you you are getting higher and higher, and there are small um, small windows. I don't know the exact term in English uh, for those windows in the tower, but you can see below uh, skeletons uh, roaming and, and uh, scratching the walls, as as if they knew you were inside. So, you, but uh, you don't I pay. Try yeah. I try to focus my attention on the stairs and avoid watching them because okay. it's ready. So enough. you go uh, up and up, and actually it gets uh, lighter because um, there is a kind of a big opening uh, that you suspect is uh, at the top. Um, and uh, there, there is uh, uh, the bell, and in a corner, you actually see a body, and I will let the body describe uh, herself. I'm assuming that's my body. Yes, yes, that's okay. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Um, oh, I, I think uh, this body must be very art art feel artfully arranged where it fell. There is another um, zombie. Let's kill it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair call. <laughs> Understandable, go on, go on, really, go on, under the circumstances. Hi, <laughs> uh, female human. Um, kind, kind of uh, not knocked down there in um, particularly fine dress with a number of uh, items of jewelry about her. Um, uh, dark, dark hair. Uh, skin, skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, that whole thing. Um, with that, maybe a small amount of equipment bit, right. kind of scattered about mm. uh, where, where, where she fell, but... Uh, uh, she lied, oh. lies there gracefully and apparently dead. Her skin is white, like completely white. Can I? F um, well, I mean, not completely white, beautifully white, alabaster, some say. No, the question is like dead white or. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's I mean, the... relative, oh. I guess. I don't know. Oh. Well, you I... can check her. If you have some medicine, you, you can check her, Tony. That's not a problem. Yeah, actually, I, I'm really surprised to find another looks to be living person here. So, uh. very carefully, with my shield raised up, I use my right hand to check her body temperature. Um, yeah, the, the body temperature is uh, is uh, is low, but uh, not uh, deadly low. There is somebody here and she seems alive. Let me take care of her. Carl, since you're here, please be careful. I, I will stand watch. <laughs> um, Tony, uh, just to describe a, a bit the environment, uh, you can gaze uh, out of uh, the tower uh, towards the sea. Of course, uh, below you have uh, more and more, um, you can see actually that, uh, let me, uh, all the chapel, is, uh, is really surrounded uh, by a skeleton and you have many graves that are now um, open uh, with uh, dirt uh, that is uh, stirred on, uh, 
and from where the, the skeleton came. And you can see uh, the sea uh, in the horizon. I try to not pay attention to the to anything else than the girl right now, the woman. Yeah. And since she has a pulse, first I would like to assess whether she has any wounds or not. Yes, indeed. Uh, she 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 seemed to to have been ruffled uh, quite badly. Then I decide to use my divine power to heal this woman. Okay. So I use a a heal like wounds spell. And okay. There is it. Thank you. I heal five. Mm -hmm. So this uh, character that uh, you don't know how to name at the moment is uh, slowly emerging uh, uh, gracefully actually, out of her sleep. Actually, I'm checking the automated role didn't add my bonus. So I had another, I think it's two, another two HP to the, so it's seven. I heal seven. Okay, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Emily, the first thing you see is this uh, cute uh, red hair halfling. Did, uh, can you tell me anything else about your character? What, what, what would you see as, uh, what would my character see as her eyes slowly open? So there is this about 80, cent 80, 80 centimeters tall young halfling with red hair, freckles sure. and green eyes, kind of the stereotype of the red head. And she's wearing a chain mail, chain mail and he has, she has a shield raised up. She's kind of healing you, but in a careful way, like expecting you to react badly, you see? And behind her, there is a very big guy that will describe himself now. Oh, rugged and handsome with a with a beard that's wild and out of control and a giant grin beaming through the bristles. Okay. Um, uh, so um, her 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 eyes kind of kind of open. I, I think she probably has to kind of cough and and, and uh, twist a little, maybe ha half sit up. Um, you kind of like look very surprised at the halfling. Um, uh, you're not expecting this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm not so sure. Is this, is this a dream, or have I kind of look, looks over the uh, the warrior type behind? Have I ascended? <laughs> if it be a dream, wake me not. <laughs> you are very well alive, and we are in a dire situation here. My name is Tony. Welcome back to the living beings. All right, yeah, she'll uh, refocus her gaze down. Uh, well, thank uh, you, little one. Yeah, thank just you. to mention, you are in the, at the top of a tower and you, you, you have a bell, a, a big bell. Uh, yeah, a... I, I would like to check the bell, but this is not the time. Uh -huh. Right now I'm focused on, I guess, Emily. Yeah, that's a very cute uh, character picture, by the way. That's adorable. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, I, I heard not, in my life. You were with the, the, the heroes of the light. The, these, these three other fine adventurers are, are, are skilled and can protect us. And I'm trying to, trying to do my part. But, but, but fear not. They, 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 are, uh, they are great heroes. And, and, and you'll be well taken care of, I'm sure. Well, Kali is always a bit exaggerating or, or skills, but yeah, we are, we are pretty amazing. <laughs> I, I feel so blessed, she says, and, and holds a hand up to be helped up. <laughs> but I guess you have many things to tell us. Maybe you want to go downstairs with Cal, and maybe you want to refresh yourself. I would like to check what is in this tower, if you don't mind. I think when you say she needs to refresh herself, she, does, she will do a quick check of her hair. You know, it's not, it didn't get too much deadhead. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she'll hold her hand up and expect to be uh, assisted there, Mr. Paladin. 
The paladin's the door, and he's downstairs. But but we'll we'll, we'll introduce oh, him. Oh, in sorry. Or who who was the <laughs> tall? Who was the tall guy up there? Sorry, it wasn't the paladin. Who was there? Uh, just just me with you know me and my sword and and really nobody in particular. My name is Cal. Very nice to meet you. I'll be glad to escort you downstairs and introduce you to the rest of the group. Wait, you're not the paladin. What are what the? Uh... Oh, it's a barbarian. Barbarian, gotcha. Sorry. Yeah, kind of a non-traditional barbarian. All right. Well, to you then. To you then. She she has a, she has a hand up as if she expects to be assisted up. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's in my hand. Okay. And, uh, carefully, carefully take you downstairs. Oh my! You know, kind of dust dust, dust her fine clothing off a bit. Um. He, he's, uh, he's not actually so handsome. He's got a rather low constitution, but he thinks he is. Constitution. Oh, charisma. Oh, oh, charisma. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I mean, constitution is important too, but. <laughs> uh, Yes. Um, th thank you. Thank you, good man. And she'll uh, kind of um, pick up pick up kind of the heaviest things, but immediately summon a mage hand to go and pick up the little things. She doesn't want to be seen crouching down amongst the dust. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Looks like you will fit run well with the uh, the rest of us, or, or at least uh, at least uh, Mistress's uh, uh, Tawny and uh, and Ray. Tawny, is it? Thank you, dear. Pat, 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 pat. Don't you may pat call me. me. You may call I'm me an Miss adult. Mix. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while, while they start going down, I would like to have a closer look at the bell. Yeah, so the bell is uh, actually what you could expect in a, such a size of a um, chapel. It's not like a cathedral bell, but it, it's a um, it's standard, uh, loud enough probably to, to call everybody from the, the surroundings one or two miles away. So they would hear the bell and uh, people would come and gather to the chapel. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's a nice bell, but no nothing extraordinary out of it. And you I can see that actually it's uh, it's uh, it seems uh, in a good good shape and, uh, and and still probably being used. I have a specific question about this bell. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know the correct terminology neither in English nor in my native language, so I will have to okay. describe it. Okay. The things that's inside the bell that makes the bell bell. Yeah. Clapper. See? The ding dong. The clapper. The ding dong. <laughs> the clapper. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Whatever oh it is, whatever <laughs> it is, I'm curious if it's made with a if it's made with a cord or if it's made or if it's fully metal. Okay, so there is one thing uh, that um, that um, bang against the bed itself that is made out of metal, <laughs> and uh, what it, it is being um, prolongated with a rope. Nice. A small cordon. I would like to know if it's possible to cut that rope. To cut the rope? Yeah. Uh, yes, probably. Uh, you might be a bit uh, um, not tall enough to... I don't uh -huh. want to do it now. I just mm. want to assess if it's possible. To yeah, do it's, it. it's, it's very likely possible. Okay. And then once this is done, I'm going backstairs and reuniting with the team. Okay. And once I'm downstairs, once they are done, introducing themselves to Emily. Yeah. So I tell them, you know, there is the bell that we hear belling yesterday night. And I'm wondering if maybe it could be a good idea to cut the bell loose to avoid it. Um, again. Just maybe a first, uh, you, you keep those thoughts uh, to yourselves, and uh, but you really want to, to share it, and you are all a bit surprised to to, to find uh, Emily here. Yeah. And, uh, Emily is uh, as well yeah. surprised to find you guys. Uh, uh, what, what's going on? I mean, just... hey, are, are you the one who were? Are, are you the bell girl? Uh, the... Am I? Did we, did, uh, did I or anybody I know have anything to do with the bell ringing, Mr. GM? Can you just let me know? Um, no, but uh, you remember uh, you haven't heard the bell, but uh, you have heard uh, uh, things until uh, and you have seen something that came to you, and uh, that was the consequence of your uh, unconsciousness. So uh, let me uh, if if. I'm gonna try saying it, and uh, Guy, if I get something wrong, please let me know. Yep. I, I may have uh, misremembered yep. or something. Yeah. Um, 
Um, yeah, she looks a, a little surprised. Uh, and who who is she speaking to now, by the way? Uh, probably me. Who uh, whom is she addressing? Can uh, I get a description? Oh, Becky. Um, yeah, so she's a teenage girl with um, like be Becky with the good hair. Yeah. Well, I mean, her hair is okay, I guess. Uh, white hair, uh, grayish skin. Uh, she's with like a half drow, uh, and she has like uh, she uh, she she's wearing like one piece with uh, symbols of you might recognize as Saturn Ray. And uh, yeah, she's currently holding a journal and just looking up and like wow, staring at you with big eyes like okay that's unexpected yeah. okay yeah. well um yeah i think uh emily will take a minute to kind of look, look you up and down um and say am i am i the bell girl no emily miss nix well it's nice you to meet my... you you don't how how did you get here then uh So kind of a take in the room and kind of stride, stride kind of more, more toward, more toward the center there. Um, uh -huh. uh, and look up at this statue with now the, uh, the missing hand and kind of whip her head back around to look at the party um, and say, I came here with my escort in search of a holy hand to please my patron. I heard no bell, but a creature came upon us and because of his foul actions, my companion has scuttled, left us. And I, in an attempt to preserve my own life, fled to the top of this tower, but alas, was followed there. Perhaps it was that creature twas rung the bell. Hmm. I see. Who is your patron, if I may ask? Uh-oh, I don't actually have a name. Oh, I mean, uh, just like, okay. Wait, it's probably something with a lot of apostrophes. Um, I think when you ask that, though, she will blush. Um, and uh, like just a look of uh, joy comes across her face that uh, she had not currently had. Um, even though apparently I don't care enough to imagine what his name might be. She gives you the name um, and okay. calls him the Twilight Lord. The Twilight Lord. I see. Never heard of him. <laughs> That's okay. I've never heard of you. Like that <laughs> so. It's it's not all that important. Uh, it's just uh, that um, okay. Amy does have apparently a reason, and there are higher power that uh, mandated her to to retrieve. Uh, well, I can feel you're a magical girl as well. Welcome to our group of. Magical girls plus I, I two very the strong men. <laughs> the <laughs> ZA, if you if you want to step in and introduce yourself, yeah, please. Welcome to the group. Yeah, welcome to the group. I heard you were looking for the paladin. Here am I. Uh, yeah. So you're well, the big guy. I didn't know there was a paladin. I, I just I thought the the one big guy was a paladin, but I was incorrect. Uh, yeah. uh, we, we are good friends. He's a new guy, but he, he's blending very well in our company now. Could you describe your character? Um, well, um, how do I do this? Well, I'm a human, as you can see. <laughs> um, 190 centimeter height. Uh, I'm wearing like chain armor, like heavy armor, basically shiny heavy armor. And I am uh, proficient with um, poly arms, basically. So I am holding a halberd. Nice. And I have a shield on my back, which I use sometimes depending on the situation. But I usually prefer to hold the helper with both hands. Yeah. And uh, I'm coming from a noble background, so. Could you say that again? You're yeah. from what background? Uh, my background is a noble. Noble. Uh, can you hear me? It's a little muffled. Uh, okay. It's a noble background. Noble. Noble. Yeah. Gotcha. Noble background. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically I come from kind of a high class family that um, I'm basically trying to gain some glory in this adventure. Uh, I'm sorry, there is a, like a background noise now. Yeah. Yeah, is somebody Campfire. in an inferno? 
like a movie. Yeah. I'm hearing a, a movie. Yeah. Sirens? I'm hearing yeah. sirens? This yeah, is what yeah. the hell sounds like. What's this thing? Yeah, that's uh, the DM just reminding you that a <laughs> very stunt show on the uh, oh. uh, oh, horrible uh, things okay. surrounding you. Oh. Well, there's a uh, storm. Well, it is, it is okay. nice mood, but it makes it almost impossible to talk. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, if you turn it down a bit, then it's kind of nice. Yeah, let's, let's turn down. Let's turn I didn't know it was raining outside. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll try the version without the rain. <laughs> no, but uh, basically, while you guys are, are talking, you are also a bit excited because um, um, uh, all the, the screams on, uh, on growls outside the chapel are raising your adrenaline. Ah, ah yes, by the way, we are surrounded by... Ah, yes. I guess we should move the introduction for later and focus on the matter at hand now. All right. Um, I... Yes, we are surrounded, and this is a dire situation. I, I hear what I was Surely coming up. Surely, not too much for the heroes for... of light. Oh, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Obviously, yes, but the heroes of light. Yeah. I'm not sure what so... you heard about us, but I think I believe what you heard was wrong. The, the the cute little one called called you all the heroes of light. That's just the name. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I like that. I would like to. I would like to thank you for calling me cute, but I'm not the little one. You are, are the you? big one. <laughs> Adorable. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, Miriam, what's your rate? Are you a human? Human, yeah. Okay. By the way, guys, let's, uh, yeah. let's stop wasting time. So there is, I was thinking maybe we can cut the cord of the bell in the tower. What uh -huh. do you think about it? I mean, Why? What, what, what do you achieve with that? I have no idea, but okay. I feel I feel that... I trust your yesterday, intuition, sis. Yesterday, we got attacked by undeeds after the bell belled, right? I'm not sure if this is yeah, in but any way connected by... Right now, we are attacked by undeeds as well. That's true. Maybe That's it drive true. them away, for all we know. I mean, you can... Yeah, I mean, if if your if your intuition says so, says I mean, yeah, sure, I'll give you a hand. I'm not sure. It's not intuition, really. I'm I'm not sure. I was looking for your um, opinion. Is it what you guys want to do? I mean, it... uh, that's what we are talking about. We are not sure. I, I think it's really like idea. it would. I mean, why not? It hardly seems like it would call more undead. What if it would drive them away? The sound of the holy bell ringing out across the land. Oh yeah, they might be uh, get confused. Like, oh, there's a bell, but we're outside, so we might want to go back inside. You know. Was there a bell in the morning when the when the skeleton when the light rang? Was it only, or was it only at night? I don't remember. I think we haven't heard the bell. Just one. Well, yeah, yeah we, we just heard the yeah. bell once at like last if night. If someone mm -hmm. wants to make a perception check or a wisdom check. Oh, uh, them. Uh, nope. yeah. I, I will do it. But... I'm not intelligent and not wise. <laughs> okay. I can do all but I look good. You got the oh, important stat, is, charisma. I, I, yeah, I look good. <laughs> so okay, that's it's a, seven. Never mind. A seven? No, yeah. but yeah, okay. Mm, mm, you, you're not sure, but you, you think you haven't heard anything, uh, any bell in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, so you said there was a trap door, right? Yeah, uh, I will yes. uh, put my cursor on the trap door. I mean, it's yeah. it's here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just just guessing. really quickly before the trap door, um, this this uh, tomb, does it look like it has a lid to it? A what? The, Sorry. The tomb in the middle. This one. Like, are you asking? Can it be opened? Yes. Oh. Uh, it looks uh, pretty heavy, but uh, it probably could be open. Yes. Because anybody thinks I mean, it you have six packs, you can lift that one up. I can um, try. I might need help with the bell. Again, but... uh, I, I says that it would to take. Be... Uh, let me roll for that. Uh... Wait, wait a second. I stop them. To be honest, I don't feel comfortable opening a saint tombstone in mm. this church. I mean, you're right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wiser minds prevail. Okay. <laughs> But, but would you object to my just collecting a little bit of the silver and gold, perhaps? Oh, that uh, one's pretty. 
Oh, I don't mind. Remember, we are the heroes of light, right? Yeah, so we, maybe we don't do this kind of things. I would use it for the greater good, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so as people are exploring the uh, the um, trap that. door, I'll, I'll just quickly gather up not everything, but just you know a few handfuls of. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you could assess actually that uh, all the, the golds on, on offerings here are worth probably 1,000 on 100 uh, gold, uh, gold, gold. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Anything pretty? Uh, anything pretty? Mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, that's a good, uh, let me check. Uh, I don't know exactly. Um, it has the charm of uh, old school uh, beauty, but I'm not sure it's very fashionable actually because it dates from a. Uh, from what maybe what your great grandmother once liked and passed on to your grandmother, and then uh, well, I mean, a, a nice stone can always be reset, so mm. okay, yeah, you might find something. Yeah. How does that okay. door look? Do we can we get it open? Do we need to? Um, no, no, that's a that's a that's a, a trap, a large trap on the on the floor. It doesn't look um, close. You you can probably uh, lift it. Actually, uh, some uh, one of you uh, lift it. Uh, lift it um, without checking, but that doesn't matter. There is no, no no problem. And there are there are stairs that are have been uh, uh, apparently uh, curved um, uh, inside the the ground of the cliff, a rock of the cliff that are leading downstairs. Is it okay? Dark? I have a question. I have a question. Mm. Is there any dust in the stairs? Mm. Oh, um, you can try to observe uh, attentively. Yes, that's a good question. Let's do a perception check. Sure. Is it done? Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it a four? <laughs> it's too dark here. Yeah. Oh, you... wait, wait, wait. It's a one. I can reroll actually. Uh, okay. Lucky halfling. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You, you definitely see that uh, there is no, even though there is a bit mold uh, on, on the side of, of uh, the walls, uh, you, you see that uh, these stairs are are used. Yes. Mm. I I share the information with the team. These stairs have been used. Let's have yes. a look downstairs, guys. G GM, just to double check, that I didn't come up through those stairs, did I? No, you didn't. All right. Can I do one thing before we leave as well? Yeah. Sure. I would like to invoke my Eldritch Sight, which is uh, detect magic at will, basically. Okay. And give a give a once over at this chapel. Is there anything magic that needs needs to be picked up by me? Okay. Uh, have you rolled, uh, Marianne? There's no rolling. It's just detect magic. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. Um, do you? Uh, well, that's uh, that's. Uh, that's a philosophical question, but do you consider holy as magical? Divine? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think so. So you, you do get a sense that uh, this, um, this chapel is uh, sanctified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There aren't any like magic rings lying around or like mm -hmm. traps on the, on the, <laughs> like fireball you, traps. Or... You actually uh, are attracted towards uh, uh, a wooden box uh, that uh, one of the characters is uh, holding mm. somewhere. Yeah. And you also see a ring shining on Cal's finger. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and myself, I'm like full bloom. Um, and my shield <laughs> is you also so <laughs> so, Yes, you, you detect a box, uh, a wooden box. I think it's Tony who is holding the wooden box. Right. Yeah, but I'm not like detecting traps or no. magical traps anyway. No. Um, no. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Okay. I think uh, when she does that, people might notice her eyes kind of get uh, a sort of uh, fairy green glow to them uh, oh. Oh. as she scans the room. Yep, Maybe she's kind of a magical girl. Stops at uh, stops at a certain ring. It's like, hmm, interesting, <laughs> sir. Um, <laughs> all right. So you guys decide to do what exactly? Uh, I would like to ex start exploring downstairs, but only if the whole team is fine with it. 
Yes. So in which case like I will to, need? I have highlighted uh, the stairs on a, on a small corridor. This one, right? Oh, nice picture. <laughs> it's oh. not round. Sorry. How old is your character? Twenty-four ish. Okay. Liar, liar. <laughs> How dare you ask? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, she could pass for twenty-four, that's fine. It's a DM. Not a day uh, over. <laughs> I just wanted to know if like you know senpai or not. I um Gee was kind of hinting that you guys are all like super young, like this was a teenage super party. I mean, except yeah. Tony. She's actually. I'm, I'm 23 years old. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> How okay. cute! <laughs> yes. So you are all trying Come to on. assess each other: who is older, who is younger, who is prettier, who is better dressed. Yep. It's a pretty normal human reaction. Yeah, sir. if you do the girl thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. well, of course, you are all smiling at each other. <laughs> yeah, so of course. Oh, nice robes! That's that's sweet. Where'd you get those? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have uh, the, the stairs, uh, a few stairs are uh, going um, to, uh, inside inside the ground, and it, it's um, stones and uh, well carved. And um, it's not a very long corridor. Uh, at the end, you have a door. Looks like a heavy uh, metal door. Okay. Um, is there a well, I try to open the door. No, it, it looks uh, solidly locked. It's locked. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, there is a locked room. Maybe I can do something about it. Do you want to? Yeah, let's try. So, I would like to use my teeth tool and try to open the lock. Yeah. Um, yeah, so roll for it. Do you mind if I give a listen quick before, or somebody yeah. give a listen quick before? Yeah, we... good move. Okay, so roll something perception. Let's say. Okay. I did eleven. Okay. Nice. Oh. There's a twenty. So you but, do but... hear some kind of a presence uh, uh, behind the door. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, this presence looks uh, under your assessment. It's a twenty, right? You made. Uh, it looks heavy, uh, big, and um, it, it's 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 some sort of a creature at rest, and okay. it doesn't sound like a, a nice creature. <laughs> There's something large and beast-like in there, and it, it might be snoring. Oh, good. Then we have okay, to jump on him. Let's be quiet. Stealthily. Okay. So, yeah, I try to open the door, but I try to do it quietly. Yeah, no, the, actually, you realize that uh, there is no, there is indeed a keyhole, but apparently it's not, um, it's not what is uh, locking the door. Oh. So the door is still so, locked? The, the door is not moving. The, the, okay. the, uh, Perhaps it, this beast thing is is just pushing against the door. Maybe. Oh, is there any sort of magical element? Uh, maybe Emily. Uh, Emily rolled for magic, and uh, there was no no magic Nothing there. Maybe it's just blocked. Maybe there is a mechanism that controls the door, but I can't open this door in a in the regular way. Or maybe if you push hard enough. Is, is the door designed to push or to pull? Yeah. Maybe you can try, Carl. Well, is it designed to push or to pull? Which way are the hinges? Uh, to open, you have to push. Push. Um, yeah, we could try that. But if, in fact, there is this beast thing that's leaning up on the other side of the door and we push at it, well, I guess we don't have much choice, but yep. we're going to have to suffer the consequences. Yeah. It's okay. I'm ready. And uh, I try to I, I try to give Carl a hunt. Okay. Um, I, didn't, I don't have any other good ideas. So 
I guess we, I try to push the door, but not in a slamming way, just sort of in a, a sort of a constant, strong pushing way. Okay. Um, uh, redo a slight perception for me, please. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Okay. As you push the door, actually, you feel that the door is uh, touching two different things. The first thing, and it's just a question of uh, millimeters, the first thing is uh, a metallic part, like something blocking. And then the, the second thing that is actually also contributing is something softer, probably a uh, a mass or body or in the first metallic one it's, it's like a, a bar against a crossing yeah the definitely head. that's what you identify there's probably a bar um but there's a little is there a little bit of a gap so that if we needed to we could we could try to lift the bar or there's just no way no no there's no gap it's, it's no gap. more like uh you feel by pressure uh, the, maybe there is a alpha hair of uh, space between the door and the bar uh, but uh, when you pushed, you, you could feel this definitely. And we don't see any other any other path other than this door at the bottom of the stairs. That's the only way. Absolutely not. Oh boy. Let's check if there is anything in the in the walls. Anything okay. strange, like a bolt-on? I uh, have yeah. no idea. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, like this area and this area. Let's okay. have a look at it. So you are pulping the, the, the walls and trying to feel for some kind of mechanism or trying to, to see, although it's pretty dark, but um, there is a bit of a light from outside and some of you have dark vision, so let's say it's okay. Um, oh, I, I have a lantern I could put on. Okay. So you do have more light and uh, actually it's, it's, it's a bit, uh, uh, if you see the space, it's not that big uh, a corridor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we can see it here, right? It, it, it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit narrow on, uh, uh, not uh, like big on Hiloy, let's say. Mm. Yeah. I suppose we could always knock. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that's an option. Okay. That's a good one. Okay, let me check. Um, do we want to, just in case, have some of us outside this little stairwell and in case whoever does the knocking needs to run out quickly and set ourselves prepare in preparation. Emily's mm -hmm. very happy to be away. <laughs> yeah, who, maybe any. Yeah, who, who's the fastest? The best reactions? Best, That's probably you. Best in, uh, initiative? I could, I'm certainly happy to do it. Yeah. Z, what are you doing? Uh, what's your position in, uh, in this? Well, I suppose I want to go in front, actually, because, you know, the tank and all that. Okay. So you're not, you are close by. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so risk knocking. So basically, I'd like somebody to, a couple of you to do the, the perception check to try to detect uh, anything around. Sure. That's uh, eight, and Doreen is a uh, 21. Uh, you have to check just the left side, the left roll. Uh, the left roll, okay. Ah, so that's a, ah. se a 17 on an 8. Um, no, the, if, if there was something, it would have to be a very, very, very well hidden. You, It looks very... I don't think that was... Um, okay. Very basic. I don't think that was perception, though. It's rolling on strength. It's something else. It looks uh, like it might have been rolling yeah. an attack. Yeah. I... Uh, you rolled an attack? I think he misclicked. Doran uh, misclicked. This is a misclick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it uh, yeah. Uh, okay. it, it's because I was editing my character sheet, so I just printed uh -huh. my mistake. Uh -huh. But yeah, as for me, I rolled an 18. But yeah. I mean, does knocking on the door require an attack roll? No, no, that's the door. No, no. <laughs> no, You're pretty sure that's the, the only entrance to this part. Okay. Okay, Are I guess ready, we guys? can try that. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Um, so, so Cal prepares himself, um, readies his, ready his sword. And uses the pommel and bangs firmly on the door. Okay. Says hello. Yeah, there you go. All right. Let me check some. Ho ho ho. I rolled that perception on. 
Okay. Um, and that's either very good or very bad, which just happened. <laughs> yeah. So you you definitely have a sense that uh, this is locked and uh, there is something behind that is uh, firmly uh, sleeping. Um, and uh, this thing apparently is not going to wake up uh, in spite of uh, the bang uh, the noise you made. I guess we didn't need to worry about being so quiet. We're still stuck here. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Emily, I, I saw you in the tower uh, do something quite extraordinary with, with, a, with a magical hand. Does that operate through a surface or? or uh, let me double check that. Um, I think I have to be able to see it, but let me, let me double check my spells here. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't specifically say. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. I, I thought I had to be able to. Um, um, H hand. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, one limitation is 10 pounds. It's a the limit is 10 pounds. So if that bar is at all heavy, then that's not going to work. Oh, yeah, that's okay. true. Um, um, but I also, I'm not sure about, what about like, I, if I get close to the door, I'll definitely be within range. If I can kind of see it through the crack in the door, maybe. I don't know. That's kind of GM. Uh, actually, call. you have a keyhole. Uh, that's a good point. Um, so, Emily, I can't see that there is a keyhole, uh, even though it's not used. Yeah, but then still, ten pounds is not that much, is it? Like, what? What are what are things that are ten pounds? Like, how many of us even know what a pound is? Or like, <laughs> I do. <laughs> you got a ten pound, you know, like dumbbell or something. It's yeah. it's not it's not so light. It's but you're right. It's questionable whether it would be. If it's I a feel like a, a heavy bar across the door would be more than ten pounds. Probably. Yeah. Uh, very likely. Um, you could try, um, does it pinch? Can I pinch with a hand? Yeah. I think so. Sure. I mean, it's a hand, yeah. I can do whatever a hand can do within 10 pounds. I'm not allowed to attack, but as far as I'm concerned, yeah, pinch the monster. sexual harassment is not within the uh, attacking <laughs> realm, so I'm sure I can pinch. What do you need uh, pinch, sir? I don't know. So maybe maybe a poke is more less... Uh, startling to a very large creature than a pinch oh oh you want to poke in... the monster okay i don't know <laughs> literally poke the monster i'm just brainstorming here i'm not the most intelligent of the party <laughs> um i just <laughs> looked it up apparently ball. 10 pounds is about an average cat and the average cat is about 10 pounds huh. mm, yeah probably correct yeah. so you can carry your familiar technically with a mage hand <laughs> that's cute <laughs> Mm. It's, that's true, I can. I should have someone my familiar, actually, now that you mention it. Um, <laughs> I have um, nothing of help here, unfortunately. Through the um, keyhole, can I see a creature? Can we, can, or I ask them, can you see this creature? It would be pretty dark, so if you have a dark vision, yes, you could, uh, I suppose. Mm. I do have one other idea. The, the door is metal, you said, right? Yeah. What if we heat the door? Oh. Well, that's an interesting idea. Oh. That's the smartest idea, probably. We don't have to heat it incredibly hot, but enough to make it uncomfortable for something to sleep against it, perhaps. And that won't yeah. help us with the bar. I don't know what it does for us. Oh, that's a nice idea. Go for it, Carl. Yeah, go for it, yeah. I, I'm not sure I, mean, I have the I ability like, to heat a door. I feel <laughs> like we also... um could actually make quite a bit more noise if we really put our minds to it. We seem like a very clever lot. We could do that. Hmm. Uh, Emily, could you make a, a wisdom uh, wisdom check, please? Oh, wisdom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not your strong point. No, it's not terrible, but it's not great. How do you do a wisdom roll? That one? Not perception, just straight wisdom? No, 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 wisdom. 
that didn't do it. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where to click. Oh. Uh, did it roll? Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, so my can... first roll for the game. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you you start to tell them, uh, ah, I'm thinking of something and they are all suspended to your lips. And uh, oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, well. Yes, never mind. Uh, uh, mm, no. There's a keyhole. Mm. We, could also, we could also push something through the keyhole, perhaps. Mm. Well, the problem is there is a bar behind the door. I already tried to lockpick the door, and it didn't work. No, it didn't work. I think our best chance here, unless we find a way to open it, it's to follow Cal advice. Yeah, just knock on the door. Maybe, maybe yeah. it is friendly. Who knows? Mm -hmm. All right. Should we try knocking again, making more noise at first? And if that doesn't work, then we can resort to the heat. I mean. Yep. Or I can what light up the have? room, if that helps. On the inside. Yeah, can we get, so we can see what's inside? That actually would be good through the queue. Some way to get light inside that room? Sure, I can, easy. Okay, so you need the light inside the room. I mean, I can, test. yeah, I can cast dancing lights inside and someone can take a look. I would like to use the divine sense of wall to see if there is any evil being behind that door. Okay, so you are checking for human being. Uh, no, no, for an evil being, anything that's evil behind that door, like an okay. undead. Is, is it a cantrip? I'm sorry? No, it's a paladin, it's a paladin skill. Whenever okay. you use ah. it, you can perceive whether there are undeads, fiends, or demons within a certain range. Or These celestials. Things. Okay. These things have to be alive or they can be uh, inanimated? Ah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm it has sure. to like be if a they creature. Give, if, 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 yeah, it's a creature that gives a presence, basically. Like when you like uh, feel it, like yeah, this is evil, definitely. Or I think actually, right. okay. so, undead counts. If you go you know? to, if you, Dorin, no, but uh, let, let, let's move on. Shape. Let me uh, let me agree on that. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, Dorian feels a uh, uh, pretty heavy evil um, uh, evil presence, and you're a bit confused because. Uh, you can also feel that uh, there are uh, vestiges of uh, something more uh, holy, but uh, overall it's uh, pretty heavy, ev evil. So do I sense any celestial being as well? Like that holy aura you're talking about? About a creature, right? Uh, yeah, like a celestial creature behind as well. No, no. Uh, okay. So I turn to everybody and uh, just tell them what I sensed just now. Oh, uh -huh. so we don't know that it's evil. I thought I misheard. I thought we heard that it was evil. Uh, yeah, yes, so like there is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that would be a 98% evil, but uh, you, you're a bit uncertain about uh, some of the things that you felt that oh. uh, were a bit contradictory to the evil aspect. Like, guys, there is just a tiny bit of a holy aura behind the door, but it's mostly evil. Yeah, pretty evil. Hmm. Evil and asleep. <laughs> I mean, if you're lucky, we might get that thing on its good side. Uh, all right. It's a two percent chance. Yeah, there's a point. Look inside that keyhole. Yeah, you're you know. saying there's a chance. So, okay, let me just look inside the keyhole and cast dancing lights. Okay. Basically, just to light up the room. And uh, that might, or well, that may or may not wake that whatever is inside up so okay that, that, that's not uh, really uh, difficult let me roll something uh, okay um you you can see actually uh, a bit of a color of the skin something uh, it's just a glimpse because the keyhole is not that big on a mm. And the field of view is not that big because apparently it's a bit leaning against uh, the door. So you you briefly see maybe a blue scales, and that's but it. Blue scales. Uh oh. 
It's like it's like a bluish uh, hue, uh, a, a bit uh, reflective and a bit uh, shiny, uh -huh. and a bit silvery, but blue, blue, bluish in tone. And we still don't hear any movement. You see, you hear a bit uh, moving, uh, but it's more like a slip movement. Definitely, this thing is slipping. Ah. Well, that didn't work. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Or a blue dragon. Yeah, we're probably going to regret waking it up. Yeah. Uh, guys, I don't think it's a good idea to pick this thing up. <laughs> as well, much we as can't I walk outside, though. Yeah. yeah, we are stuck here. It um, it uh, kind of uh, reminds me of uh, maybe a five years old or six year old uh, playing with a loaded gun and trying to figure out how to operate it. Uh, yeah. Looking at the gun barrel. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Yeah. Emily is also still quite injured, is that right? Yeah. So you, do you need some healing? Uh, she has like literally, as you know, seven hit points right now out of 27, I think, 26. Uh, okay, I can heal you as well. I have one uh, hand. Long. Mm. You like We've only just met, sir. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't mind at all. Um, okay, fine. So you have seven hit points. I uh, will give you another seven. All right. Oh, okay? that's very generous. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> so well, generous. Do we want to knock louder? I don't know. Or deal with the skeletons outside, rather? What if we ring, Maybe. Uh, what if we ring the church bell? Ooh. Second. What what did you say? I didn't hear. Sorry. Uh, Call. Just, uh, none of my ideas have, have worked out very well so far. But I'm just wondering if uh, we ring the church bell, if that would have any. I actually I actually thought so too. Hmm. Maybe we should try that. Okay, let's ring. I mean, the honestly, bell. we're already surrounded by monsters. It's not like it's going to yeah. call yeah. all the skeletons to us, right? I mean, the skeletons don't want to come inside, anyways. But yeah, let's ring the bell. What could go wrong? <laughs> it's probably something else behind it's already you. been such a bad day it couldn't possibly be worse yeah so yeah, as you guys some... are heading towards the, the stairs on, the, on the... Uh, my suggestion was actually yeah. to stay here and send one guy what do you think a sneaky guy a sneaky guy we have a sneaky guy yeah my... i can stay here we do who's sneaky um i think gone. nobody <laughs> I'm not, but I can stay behind while you guys go up. The sneaky person should stay or the sneaky person should go? And one stays or uh, one goes? 50-50? Who's good at the stealth here? Okay, who's good with stealthing? Not I. I have a chain mail. Yeah, okay, well, then I go. Because you guys are all... I have very heavy. Yeah. I'm no normal. All right. Then I guess Becky will go up and try to ring the bell. Okay, so Becky goes up uh, actually cautiously because she hasn't been uh, in this uh, space. Uh, it's the first time. Oh, yeah, I haven't. Yeah. You can still see out of the windows uh, the unfriendly uh, skeletons that are repulsive and still are very aggressive. I stick she my arrived. tongue out at them. Mm. So yeah. gross. Stupid yeah. Undead. Yeah, they are very gross. And uh, you arrive to the platform, see the bells, and see uh, around the surroundings, the, the village uh, um, that looks actually, uh, Kenmouth looks, from a distance, looks quite, although desolated. And you see the sea uh, on the other side. Uh, maybe some seagulls are, are flying around and, ma and making some noise, but mm. um, very far away because actually they pro are probably scared of the uh, skeletons. Yeah. And in front of you is the bell. I say a quick prayer to San Ray and apologize for what's going to happen. Yes, and I well, give well, a big tug yeah. to the bell. Okay, so the first uh, uh, um, thing that you, you do is actually uh, very shy and it's imperceptible. It sounds yeah. like ding! <laughs> uh, you gather your strength, make a, a strength check. Oh, oh boy. 
That's okay. Strength check, huh? Maybe Sorry. one of you guys should have gone. <laughs> uh, straight strength check. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that, that's kind of. Uh, you're not entirely sure that it's to the full power of a, of a bell, but it uh, makes like ding. That was my first pull. Here's the second pull. Oh, <laughs> ding. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, come on. Any time now. You can ring it any time. Yeah, so you are getting no. tired on the now. No, my arms are tired. That's it. Yeah, it's so difficult. I'll go back down. <laughs> did you ring it? Did you hear that, guys? Did you hear? Yeah. Uh, I rang it. The... Yeah. Yes, we're ready for you to ring it any time. Well, <laughs> my hands are tired. Can, can someone come up with me? <laughs> really well, really well. Mm. I think the bell is stuck. <laughs> Why don't we try it's banging one time move. then here, making some noise and see if that does anything. Yeah, so... I mean, by all means. Yeah. Wake the dragon? Wake the sleep dragon? Yeah, sure. Oh. Okay. Are we are going to ring it again? I think we're going to just pound on the door again. All right. Oh. You know what? Mm. I Did could... someone try to ring the bell thing? We didn't want to get a stronger person up there to ring it. Okay, I'm gonna go up and ring it. Yeah, come. We both go. That's yeah, okay. Come on, Thanks, let's go. Uh, let me. Power of friendship. Okay. Who, who is go. staying in the tunnel? In the in the entrance of a. Uh, Tony call Tony and call basically, okay. and I guess Emily is. Uh, I'll stay down. Trap door. Yeah. yeah. Who has the, the highest? Uh, uh, yeah, that would be wisdom, I think, for wisdom check. I uh, probably me. I go for it. I will roll it. I need a ten. Ten. Mm. Mm, okay. Okay. You are thinking. You are thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you guys uh, reach to to the bell platform, and uh, now you you see the bell, and uh, it's um it's uh what what uh, sorry, what's the name? It's not Doran. It's Doran. Yeah, it's Doran. Doran yeah. is up of uh, the platform. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just do a, a regular a strength check, and we'll see what's going on. I think it's okay. stuck. Can you use athletics? Yeah, that would be athletics and strength. Okay. So yeah, you, you, it's not Great. that difficult actually for you to, to, to ring this bell, this dumb bell. And, uh, so it does uh, resonate uh, loud and clear and uh, you're a bit uh, startled by, by the sound because uh, it covers uh, quite well the, the growls of the uh, skeletons below you. And um, it can be uh, perceived uh, uh, far in the distance. Um, there's nothing perceptible, but you you can uh, you can see it's just. Uh, Let's go back down and check. It's just adding to the eerie uh, atmosphere. Now you have a bell ringing. But we don't see anything in the. Mm -hmm. Anything happened, guys, down there? So the, the skeletons are still there, right? Yeah, yeah. It's strange. Oh, there. Any waking dragons? Mm. <laughs> okay, so nothing happened, guys. Isn't it strange that there's a bar on the outside of a building rather than the inside of a building? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite strange. I thought so too. I feel there must be another way in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can Emily uh, throw a wisdom check? Uh, why wisdom? <laughs> uh, you have intelligence, so see, I would accept. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. I'll roll intelligence. As soon as I figure out where my character sheet is, where'd it go? Oh, just roll and we'll see uh, what's going on. Yeah, no, I have to. My character sheet got mislocated. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. All right. Uh, how do I roll? Is that it? Go. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, me neither. I have. I don't think I figured out the right place to click yet. Hold on. 
Oh, maybe right on the word intelligence. On, on the word itself. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Oh, right. Uh, so, hey girls, you are you are touching the, the walls on uh, on um, on feeling the the type of uh, residue the, the rocks has uh, left on your fingers and think, um, hey girls, uh, what about uh, digging? Maybe uh, those uh, those walls, uh, after all, is just uh, is just the rock of a uh, of a cliff. Digging. Call the boys down. <laughs> Someone needs to dig. <laughs> I guess we called. Doran has an amazing shovel with him. Yeah. yeah everybody a has a shovel. I, I got four shovels for everyone. <laughs> well, I'm not going to shovel. <laughs> it's a dirt floor. We're going to dig where? Underneath or around? Around the, the door? Around the door. They put in a metal door and, and you can just dig around. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, let's let's dig then on the side where the, um you know, where the bar we, you know, uh, the opening and the opening yeah. inside of the bar of the door. So well, we are digging in that tunnel, like here. Here. Uh, can you show me? So Doran, we are, you are digging here, okay? I'm guessing that I'm digging here. I, I, I think here, right? Here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but looks on the wet direction. I suppose uh, you are going. Uh, well, I suppose I'm going down here. Yeah, uh, going down, and yeah. then uh, uh, that would be uh, left, right? Um, yes. Yeah, that okay. would probably uh, be uh, what digging through uh, uh, maybe five feet of uh, of rock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so you start digging, digging, and digging, and digging, and uh, probably after 45 minutes, uh, you have made uh, progress by a few centimeters. What? And uh, in your best assessment, uh, you think it would take nine hours to... to, to... Oh, ouch. Guys, it's going to take the whole... No way. No sure way. Might, I guess, until, yeah, next day morning, maybe you'll be there. I'm not sure I want to be here at night. Uh. Oh my God. Uh, and by the way, it's uh, 11 now AM. Can't we just break this door instead? Or maybe you called, you know what, Doran, instead of digging a tunnel, you can dig around the door. You see? Okay, I'm gonna... Because if you, if you dig here, the door won't have anything to... Is it possible to, to dig around here? I need to ask her the DM. Is it possible to dig around the doors then? Yeah, Are absolutely. You, you can try to to to, to dig uh, around the joints. That's that's uh, reasonable. Now. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna dig here this time. Okay. Let me check something. Hmm. Okay. So you dig, you dig, you dig, you dig, and uh, after. Uh, uh, another 30 minutes, you understand that uh, it would be probably uh, one hour on, on, on 30 minutes to to manage to, to break through. Okay, so you said it was 11, reasonable. 11 now, 11.30 11 and one hour and 30 minutes? It so will be uh, 12.30, probably around 12.30 you will manage to, to break through. I mean, we have time. I think okay, it's reasonable. Yeah. It? And the thing just yeah. keeps sleeping on the other side? Uh, let me check on my side. I don't want to show you the die roll. How do I hide the die roll from you? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll die. What is yeah. it? Slash GM? Oh mark? my god. <laughs> yeah, real die. Let me check something. Uh, okay. Okay. Another person to be with me. We can make it Okay. And uh, basically, when you are, uh, let's do something. There. When you are, let's say, 87% uh, of uh, going through, you hear a big roar. <laughs> <laughs> a bit muffled because it comes from uh, from behind the door, but you definitely heard something and it chilled your blood. We did it. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Guys, <laughs> guys, I'm not sure we really want to open that door or dig through that door now. There is an evil being behind and I'm hearing roaring around. Okay, okay, honey, but evil being here, skeletons outside. Which one do you choose? This doesn't look like a skeleton to me. This looks like a big monster. 
what I mean is we have two paths in front of us. One of them has this door and one of them is outside and it's full of skeletons. They're really gross. We I'm not technically protected from the skeletons because they can't go inside. But... Well, maybe until nighttime. We, we, uh... Yeah, true. <laughs> so you, you guys you guys choose. Do we want to go through the skeletons or we go through the unknown monster? I we... vote for the monster. Yeah, me too. We're not sure the monster can come through the door if we, you know, if it can get through the door in this direction anyway. But also, hey, we saw steps going down this door. Somebody's been through here. Yeah. Okay, so we vote for keep digging. It's okay. 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 As, uh, you you still spend another let's say uh, fifteen minutes before you you manage to to scrap uh, the wall and, uh, and get completely free. It. You hear uh, some sort of a huge sound of metallic sound from behind the door, uh -oh. and uh, this uh, uh, you guessed well bar is now falling on the floor. And uh, you heard something that is uh, now uh, uh, pushing on the door, and you, you hear uh, the noise of the uh, uh, how do you call that? Um, what's uh, making people the, the door pivot slightly uh, uh, creasing? Try. What do you do? I get into position, guys. Okay, hey. everybody rolls for initiative. <laughs> this guy's coming out. Yeah, don't be hit by the door when it collapses. Yeah. <laughs> Initiative, everyone. Oh, All right. Oh. Yeah, I got 20. Uh, DM, can you put up the turn order and then we can automatically like put our initiative yeah. in there? Yeah. How do you do that turn order? Uh, it, it's on the, the same bar as the dice. There should be a thing for turn order over there. Hold on, where is it? On the one with the pointer and the draw tool and the, the dice. That same toolbar, only on the GM toolbar. We don't have it on ours, but the okay, one of those so should be turn order. GM on, uh, advice dice roller? No, where is it? I think Fudge? it's turn, turn something. I don't see turn, sorry. Really? If turn turn order? There's nothing that says turn order there? Yeah. No. Uh, let, let me go for help and uh, I will ask, uh, I will check. Hold on, I'll, I'll open up uh, a different one and see if I can figure it out. Turn order. Order. But uh, you might not want to have a turn order at this point because uh, okay. the big guy roll for. Uh... I mean, turn. We're rolling initiative. It, it, it's meaningless yeah. if there's not a turn order. There's a turn track. No, but I, I can uh, write it on my uh, dashboard here. Oh, okay, we're fine. Uh, uh, the turn order lo looks like a little clock. It's the third up ah, from the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I see it. Okay. Yeah, and now when you roll initiative, if you highlight your icon. Yeah, select the, your character icon, correct? Then you then, roll initiative then and it initiative. gets put there in, automatically. Uh, Not even my final form. Okay, guys, uh, anyway, the, the thing roll uh, last, so you will be last. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, I need to write this with. Uh, okay. So first will be Doran and Emily. So who wants to go first? Um, I only have a 12 dexterity. I have a feeling that Doran might be a little higher. Yeah, I'm going to go first and uh, hold my shield in front of me. Next is uh, Cal. Uh, Cal will make sure that he's standing far enough in the back so he's not going to get hit by that door. And then he readies his, uh, his sword. OK, then it's Bakey. Bakey, you're right? I think so, yeah. And last is Tony. And Tony will. I will move myself behind Carl. Okay. And Good. actually, I actually want to try to hide myself. I'm at disadvantage, so I'm going to take the lowest of two dice. Okay. And uh, eventually, you have something huge that is emerging. So for the first people, oh. I can well, roll the five. Yeah. Um, uh, I, need, I need to go to the select object. Token. So I did 11. Good luck out there, 10. Doran. Isn't it 10? No, because I rolled a 17 and an and, and 11. I rerolled the one. See? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a bit weird how it works, but I, I was supposed to roll only one dice, but yeah, the yeah, system always rolls still. Yeah. yeah. Uh, why can't uh, okay? Hold on, I'm uh, I'm going to emerge with something bad. Uh, one. I 
everybody's way how, back behind. How wide is this quarter? It looks like it's about five feet. Oh, wait, that's on oh, top okay. of me? Okay, let me go here. Okay, oh. do you see something uh, blue, huge, uh, yes, that's yes. emerging from the door? Hello, okay, yeah. she, this big thing is uh, as big as a sumo, but uh, larger by 30 to 40 percent. Hmm. Uh, it, it has a, a huge uh, appearance and uh, a lot of fat everywhere on um, many uh, teeth, uh, more, more teeth than you can count. The skin is a uh, bluish, uh, shiny bluish with silvery uh, uh, flashes and uh, almost uh, scales, scales like. And the, the, the eyes are, are enormous and the, the lips are pulpous. Bulbous, exactly. Did they, did they want something for the Lovercraftian intuition? Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it human size though? I mean, like very large human size, or is it actually bigger than a human? Oh, uh, it's uh, it's like uh, it could have been a, a human that has exploded in size. Okay, but it still counts as a medium creature. Mm, barely. Okay. So this thing is actually uh, taking all the space of the square and uh, moving towards you. And it's door in action. Well, I'm going to attack him, I guess. So, or I'm going to attack it, I guess. Uh, let me roll that. Oh. You just have to tell me what you do. Uh, OK, I'm going to attack it with my halberd. Uh, nice. Attack. I guess that works. Yeah, the five the damage. No, no, that's attack. I'm going to roll for the damage now. And damage. you, you already, you already, you already roll the damage. You hit. I think so. Yeah. And you see that five is the damage. Ah, uh, five is the damage. Okay, so this thing uh, takes a uh, five damage. Ah, okay, and, uh, okay. It's apparently a uh, barely uh, scratching uh, is its skin. Uh, okay, no, I'm I'm going to use a uh, divine smell as well. So I'm then, going yeah. To yeah, um, so, so I'm going to roll more. Let me see at uh, level three. For this mm -hmm. I think there is the show that puts divine smite in the in the character. You can click there. Ah, uh, yeah, no, no, no just just end. Okay. Uh, first level slot to the eight. Yeah, so it's correct because it changes after that depending on the level. So it is this one. Did you see it? Was it? Oh, it didn't come out. Level, well, level you one. have to okay, okay. you have to just submit. No, no, I did it. I heard it. Okay, excellent. So it's five. So another five damage. Okay. So it takes another five damage. No problem with that. Uh, you start to be a bit scared and uh, become uh, paler and paler because apparently it doesn't do that many uh, damage to this uh, huge uh, uh, bluish uh, beast. As expected. Yeah. And uh, that's, uh, the, the corridor is a bit narrow, so you guys have to decide uh, how you organize yourself. Next in line is Emily. Yeah. Um, I think Emily uh, kind of straightens yeah, up. Once and uh, Am I muted? Am I OK? No, you're fine. OK. Um, uh, and you're, she in, intones a spell, which you know is in a, for, a non-common language. It's in a foreign language. Okay. Um, and there's something that kind of like, it's like almost like someone is speaking with her as uh, so it's kind of like two people speaking at once as she intones first uh, a bonus action spell which okay. I am trying to scroll to not used okay. to this website yet oops I did not have the description nice oh crap yeah this one wasn't in the thing um, hold on one sec so hex hex is um what I'm going to cast, but I did not set it up correctly. Sorry about that. I'm not used to this character sheet. Uh, hex, 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 hex. You're one of those. <laughs> Does that mean? <laughs> so, yeah, people don't have a watch, but they are watching their, <laughs> their hand while you are casting your spell. Uh, this one. So there's no saving throw or anything. Um, it's <gasps> you beat me to it. Sorry, I was about to. Come on, okay, let me copy paste, copy paste my own spells. Come on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, with with this cast on the creature, uh, if I do hit it, I will then roll an extra d6 necrotic damage on it. 
Okay. Uh, and that will stay with him. If he dies, I can switch it over to another creature. That's about it. So it's, it's a chance to do extra damage on an actual hit. Got it. And that's a bonus action. So now she'll do her actual action, which will be a cantrip. Okay. Oops. Uh, so it's a bit crowded, but the country goes through. Yeah. What does it do? Oh, yeah. The cantrip shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm trying to roll it. Cast at what level? Level zero. Submit. Uh, ah, crap. Sorry, I'm really not used to this spell sheet. I think I should have rolled it from a, or this uh, character sheet. I think if I roll it from here, it might work better. Hold on. There we go. Mm. Whoa. That's not funny. It's a critical hit, yeah. That is a critical hit. I would like to roll uh, an yeah. extra d10 damage on that. Yeah, so roll your damages. Um, so here's the crit damage, and uh, here is the hex damage. Yeah. Uh, the crit damage is just the nine. It's not more than that. It's an extra uh, d10. Yeah. It's the first d10. So that's two d10. Uh, I need to roll another d10 because the. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't roll damage. Oh, it doesn't roll damage. So yeah, yeah. you know what? That five was not your damage. Sorry, that five was your melee range. No, no, that five was your is damage. It's your. Are you sure? Because what yeah, I have here, true. the the 120 that's showing up here, that's my range. That was that's where the range is showing up. That's not damage. Yeah, but you can set, set it up like there's a setting where you can auto roll damage. I think you yeah, have it off. Yeah, I'm really kind of shocked it's not auto rolling damage. I mean, okay. you can set it up. So we need another D10. Uh, okay. Um. So the normal damage. Here's the normal damage. Anyway, R1 D10, and then she gets plus four because of her charisma bonus. For their, oh. Uh, yeah. oh, that's a lot. 26. <laughs> Roll d10 plus 4. Okay, that's 26. Minus 26. Okay, got it. Um, um, so there is a lot of dust on the on the walls uh, in the corridor uh, uh, are throwing a bit rocks and dust uh, all over you on the, this uh, monstrous um, creature. But it's still, uh, it's still standing on its feet. Cal. How does it look? Does it look at all bloodied or he looks totally fine? If, if I may... He looks like uh, covered with dust, uh, a bit uh, touched, but it's not going to stop him. It, okay. Can I add just a little bit more? Yeah, yeah. So sorry. So yeah, when the, when the hex goes out, it's like like almost like there's a green rune flying through, mm. uh, flying through. Like, this kind of goes twirling, twirling, twirling through, and that is followed up immediately by okay. this uh, this blast of force. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, Emily will very imperiously say. Stand down, you hideous creature! Nani? Huh? Nani? Nani? <laughs> okay. Wait, Cal will there. step forward. Yep. Say, fellow beast, you are going to face the four heroes of light. Now you are facing the five heroes of light. Yeah. Fear! <laughs> Do you, you have enough fear. room between, uh, between Doran and on the... On the I, call? I think I think in five e. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. You can you can attack through a, a, a actually a um mm. an ally and then step back again. Um, you cannot do that through a foe. Okay, let's do it, but uh, be a bit considerate of the fact that it's narrow. Um, so. yeah, okay. Anyway, I'm stabbing with a, with a big sword mm. forward. So. Yeah, go for it. Um, okay, I'll use a uh, great weapon master. Um, so I will take, yeah, all right, so there's a negative um, five to the attack, but if I hit, it'll be a plus 10 to the damage. Yeah. And I don't hit. Uh, um, that's a five? Yeah, no, no, definitely not. So your sword, as I told you, it's a bit narrow, and uh, your yeah. sword uh, kind of rattles the, the walls uh, more than anything, creating a bit of uh, sparks uh, as you go for it. And say, we'll get you yet. Um, and I guess what I have to do is, because of the narrow space, is step back here. And I don't think I have any of my check. I don't think I have any bonus actions. Yeah, the guy looks uh, pretty upset, and uh, you guys uh, are seeing it, uh, are, are uh -huh. really, really not reassured that it's uh, a piece for, for you to have for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Next, Becky Ray. Uh -huh. A lot of noise on her head, and you are not entirely sure you, you see totally what's going on. Yeah, no, but 
I'm just gonna say a quick prayer to Sarah Ray. Sarah Ray, shower with strength. And uh, the bonus action cast spiritual weapon. Okay. Which. Ching. Yep. Ching. And uh, because Sarah Ray likes scimitars, it's gonna be a shining scimitar. Okay, shiny. Okay, shiny, yeah. shiny. And uh, oh, I think I get okay. to do an attack with it when I cast it. Correct, Marion? Like, I remember Eva used. Um, um... Big yeah, here, I will give you the attack at a disadvantage because now there are a bit a few people uh, on the way. So ah, okay, yeah. fair enough. Mm -hmm. Spiritual weapon. Eh? Right. Let me go through. Let me attack the beast. I mean, I don't have to be there. I can do it from range. This is basically a range attack. Okay. Um, but I mean, however, uh, spells. Mm -mm. Normal roll, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, and uh, I think it does one d8 or something. Plus... Well, I'll take it as it is uh, because we can save a spell. Is kind of uh, sneaking through. Okay, thanks. Uh, only... I think it's one d8 plus four. <sighs> Eight points of force damage on the beastie's right. head. You don't, yeah. You don't quite see uh, what's going on, but you know that uh, you just threw uh, in the corridor your spell, and uh, you are pretty certain it hit. Okay. Then I will follow it up because uh, this was just a bonus action. I'll follow it up with a. I'll I'll eat a firebolt. Okay. Around there. Hopefully, I'm not gonna hit anybody. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, a disadvantage for this one. Okay, for this one, this one got it. And uh, with disadvantage, oh. it's a nine. Yeah, no. Nope. Just, okay. Uh, yeah. Just like leaking the walls and uh, making more glowing. Uh, yep. Light uh, inside the. Corridor. And technically, we are in the big map. We are somewhere around the trapdoor, right? Yeah. Well, I would like to move the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Maybe back a bit. Like maybe, maybe eh, here. Okay, fair enough. That's it. Tony. Okay. I want to use advantage of this Russell trait. Yeah. I will copy it in the chat. Yeah. 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 I know that. And um, yeah. And basically, I will move here. Yeah. Then here. Yeah. Then here. And yeah. then behind him. Okay. So if you can reveal a bit of the map. Uh, there is no uh, opportunity attack for that? No, it, the opportunity attack happens whenever I leave his attack zone. Because okay. I'm still inside it, there is no opportunity attack. Uh, Alright, so you arrived. Uh, let me reveal to you a bit of the room. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you. You don't have time to really pay attention to, to what's uh, left. You, you see coal, uh, dark coal uh, on, on the corner. And okay, uh, but I don't pay attention on it. Now no, it's, it's, you're more focused yeah. on the, the big, uh, big thing here. Yeah. Exactly. Now that what's important is that I want to attack him. Yeah. And I think that maybe I can have advantage. Yeah, you can. I, I agree. Okay. So I will attack with my mace. Did it happen? That's yes. a 14. Yes, that's a 16 to hit. Why is it a 16 to hit? Uh, because I roll advantage, there are two uh, rolls. Yes, yes, so it goes through. Yes, you, you, you managed to uh, actually uh, give a, um, a hit on uh, the back of uh, this uh, enormous thing. The damage won't be much, but it adds. This is the damage. Yes. Oh, not bad. Eight. Eight. Okay. Minus and eight. that's it for my turn. Yeah, so you, you, you kind of kick him in the ass. Uh, yes, <laughs> and he has a, a bit of a jump. And now it is his turn. On a four, his turn is going to attack the red, uh, uh, red cap, and he's going to roll uh, a d20 for one attack first. Uh, that's a four, so I suppose it doesn't go through. Who's he attacking? Is he a, me? He, he, Doran, Doran, me, me. Yeah. I'm the red guy. So the first is going to, to try to bite you with his enormous uh, mouth and uh, he's just uh, uh, 
uh, actually biting in uh, empty space as uh, Doran escaped him. Next one. Next one is a five. Wow, five plus uh, this to it. What's your armor class, uh, Doran? 19. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's missing again. Um, that's what he's doing. Forest what was the second attack? That was a, was it with an arm or was it a second bite? Uh, that's a good uh, good point. His uh, second attack was uh, with his hands uh, that uh, look actually like claws uh, with a very very sharp nails. Okay. Yeah, and he tried to do a, you know a bit like um, Freddy Krueger type of slash. Uh, Doran, that's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna check the card for sheet again because it looks like according to everybody's comments, something is wrong. Just, reason. just like, just click it. I really think that um, if you put a little, um, like on on my range, I had a little apostrophe to indicate feet. If you put an apostrophe on there, you'll know for sure that's not damaged and that that is what what's in the range area. Yeah, I'm checking it now. Oh, it's so weird to me that it's not rolling damage. Like, I have my damage checked like it should be rolling. I don't know why it's not. Well, yeah, uh, same, same for me. Isn't it it's just weird. like, uh, because it has 1d8, that's it. I'm no, sure like my mace, my mace had the same issue. See, it didn't post the damage at all. I have to roll it myself. Maybe to make it fast, it's better if we roll the so dice in, ourselves. In the range, I write the range and then I write apostrophe after it. Is yeah, the it? apostrophe just means feet. That's all that means. Just because yeah. I think you might have gotten cheated out of some damage. Like, I think your, your halberd has a pretty good damage range. Yeah, that's surprising. I, I thought it was weird, but you guys yeah. said that's a damage strike. Yeah. <laughs> no, usually, because usually on roll 20, it if, if it's a die, yeah. if you hover your, your mouse on top of it, you can see the calculations. Like, you rolled this, and this was the result, or whatever. Okay, let yeah, me roll just to check. I'm going to roll yeah. one more time. It is weird, uh, also, because you put about oh, three. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, that's definitely fine. That's your range. That's not your damage. Yeah. Okay, so that's a 27 that definitely goes on the big guy and he's taking the blunt of your Albert attack. Roll for damage. So this is the, okay, so this is the attack and the 5 was the range. This was not the damage. Yes, right? the so you get to roll damage. So just just right? roll the damage yourself. Yeah, that's In fact, double damage because time. you're Mr. Crit. Okay, so... All right, so why why we have this again? Uh, no, why just... is the chat window suddenly separated from the roll to interview? I, I think you have to roll the damage by yourself. I mean, yeah. taking the dice yourself. Yeah, yeah. So you go to an advanced dice roller, and you, okay, you choose. Okay. Okay. Then mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Okay. So head with shield. Here it is. Okay. That's and nice. Yeah, I had a macro. I had a macro for it last time to prepare just in case. So I'm just gonna. Roll. But and you have you, you have, you have roll to roll a T8, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Roll another D8. Okay. The crit. Uh, crit. Uh, then you ship and uh, it's a arrow. four, just a four. four, so nine plus four, 13. Yeah, okay, minus 13. So now the, the, the beasts start to, to stall a bit, but uh, it's still very, very furious. Uh, why is it a four? I'm sorry, it's minus because seven. you don't because you don't have plus three to the ah. next d8. Yeah, hmm. okay, why did I roll another one just because of the Hit because it was 97. Yeah. You you're did a critical using, hit. Yeah. You're oh, using okay. a halberd, right? Yeah. Halberd oh, is uh, D10, not D8. Uh, no, no, because I'm holding the shield. If I don't hold the oh, shield, sorry. It's, it's D10. Yeah. Okay, so my bad. Okay. Um, Emily, uh, you have another action, Doran, or that's it? Uh, well, other let me see because I don't know, but I, I used all my spells. I can't cast a spell, so no mind. Hmm. Okay. So Hold next on. Is Emily. I'm sorry, isn't right. a halberd two handed by default? Like you can't have it in one hand? It's not versatile, no. no my, it's not my, versatile, my... right? So it's either yeah. you have your halberd two hands, D10, or you have your shield and maybe some other weapon. Like the two won't work together. Like you cannot have a shield and a halberd. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I've been doing that because I have polar mastery. But that doesn't make you, oh, you know. Does it full arm mastery? I, I actually can't remember what that does. Yeah, I don't think polar mastery actually lets you one hand the two handed weapon, you know, because it's pretty heavy. And plus, I think Harbert has ten, 
range. Over. So you have reach. Uh, I think it said five, but I'm not sure. Let me check that again. But first, let me check the thing about the shield. Oh, the you get a bonus soul. attack with Polar Master. Yeah, that too. You, you get if it's too if it's two handed. You get the thing. If I have the shield, it's usually one handed, or that's what I saw. All right. If that's an agreement you made with the GM, that's it's fine. But yeah, well, if if the GM is fine with it. Uh, yeah. I wasn't aware of uh, the agreement, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I've been doing so so far. So if you want to change that now, that would be weird. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Don't make yourself a Superman and like uh, with super power, just like reasonable. All right. Yeah. Just so in, anyway. the poly arm, in the poly arm, master, it says basically when you only attack with the halberd, you had the bonus actions. This means I, I can hold the halberd and another thing, but only when I hold the halberd only with two hands, I can get the bonus action. That's what it says. Yeah, with okay. the other end of the halberd. Yeah, so so when it says that, basically, I can hold the helper with the shield, but then I don't get the bonus action. But when I don't hold the shield and I hold just yeah, the what helper, what what you're saying, you, it's fine for now. There is nowhere a rule that lets you use the helper with one hand and roll mm -hmm. a d8. We don't know where you bring this rule from, but it's okay. It's not. It's important. okay. I mean, it's not yeah, game breaking. Yeah, not gonna. Yeah. Okay, okay it's right. fine. Uh, that's yeah, we're just I co confused, like. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on. Now yeah. We're breaking the right. okay. So Emily is a. Uh... She's going to kind of use her Eldritch Blast again, but uh, she will say, name yourself and stand down or suffer the consequences. That's, uh, a, that's a very good... Uh, wow, she's savage. What, what, I'm sorry? <laughs> she's savage. She's what, savage, yeah. Do you, what did you say, Guy? It's a country for uh, what to spell. Oh, no, this is just her talking. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> just, oh, you are hearing from uh, so, somewhere a bit of uh, inhuman uh, voicing. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. And then this is what she's saying. Oh, oh geez. All right. Really? Nice. Rolling, nice. rolling well. Okay. Not great, but, Damage? Uh, plus, then what is it? Plus four. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, um... All right. that's cute. <laughs> All right. so a part it evens of, out uh... with my last attack. Okay, a part of yeah, the is scratch. Don't you have the necromatic uh, attack as well? Oh, we have thank hex. you very yeah. much. I True. forgot. How soon I forget. You have a hex. Okay, that's another four. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay. This monster is uh, really not happy. The more you, you attack it, uh, the, the less happy it is, apparently. And uh, <laughs> next is Cal. Cal looks around and sees all the damage these other warriors are doing and starts to get a little bit embarrassed and, and a little bit angry. Yeah. Yeah. Now is your time. Now is your time. Don't you worry, it's sir. It's time to shine. Uh, time to shine. He comes forward and he's going to recklessly assault this big blue creature yep. using that code word. Master, I think Carl should get an advantage for attack, right? Uh, yes, he does actually. I that. Sorry, yeah. sorry, because of uh, you are behind in the back. Absolutely. Oh, well, then he doesn't have to recklessly attack. <laughs> you simply use okay. a great weapon master, and that doesn't work that way. Hold on, try it this way. There we go, and with there the advantage, go. twenty is the second one. Oh, right, that's cool. It goes through, and it does eighteen damages of slashing damage. Yes, the first How one. Get... Hold on a second. The first, first one went through. I'd rather use yeah. the first one. Yeah, and this twenty-two. But um, does it do this? Because two dice six plus fourteen. Yeah, that's right. It put in there. Great West, but I'm not sure it's an additional plus ten damage is why the damage. How do you get it to show the damage like that though? Uh, this is using um, he gets DVD minus damage. five to it and plus ten to the yeah, damage. Plus basically. ten damage. Well. Yeah. So as as Cal steps in on a slightly push aside Doran. His a sword cuts through the, the big, huge blue monster. Uh, and uh, in a, uh, a, a painful voice, the monster is uh, uh, breathing out its last uh, sound of breath and uh, falls uh, flat. Oh, like is that? Mass on the floor. Oh, okay. He did it. This good is job. All on you. I just give it a little finishing prick. But yeah. Wow. wow. Good job. Great job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the last attack is a bit petty uh, move, but uh, you are still very proud of yourself. Heroes of light, prick. <laughs> All right. 
you were lucky in my opinion, but uh, that's fine. Uh, okay, I've been uh, just uh, checking up the, for the arm points that everybody was making. So it looks like, um, yeah, in that case, it's either the fully arm or the shield with uh, a, a spear or a mace, basically. If I wanna hold one, a weapon and the shield at the same time. Yeah. So I'm just gonna use the fully arm and just ignore the shield for now. Okay. Okay, yeah. that makes it better. Right? You should be able to give yourself extra reach so you can do it from. Yeah, I think you have ten foot reach with the halberd. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's another point. So I was just checking the full arm uh, yeah. shield first. I'm gonna check that. Honestly, having the two attack, the bonus attack too, is pretty darn cool. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to. I want to have a look at this room. Yeah. So be careful. Uh, the, you, you recover from uh, the uh, your emotion and uh, catch uh, catch up your breath uh, after mm -hmm. this uh, short but uh, uh, horrible uh, fight. Uh, you examine a bit the the room, and apparently it's a it's kind of a small vault. Uh, it's more like a storage room, probably. Uh, you do notice from where you came that it was a, a metal door with a, uh, with a large, uh, heavy uh, blocking bar that was removed from uh, from its uh, locking position. Um, in the upper left side, you see a pile of uh, dark uh, coal, charcoal. And you see uh, different uh, boxes and uh, maybe ropes, mm, things that uh, that are typically put uh, in storage uh, there, um, like uh, maybe woodwork, um, stonework, leftover from the last renovation of a chapel several decades ago. Uh, but you also notice uh, among the barrels uh, of... Uh, of uh, rotten uh, grain and maybe uh, oil, old oil, you see uh, a piece of cloth that is apparently uh, wrapping some object. I would like to have a look into it. I unwrap it. Okay. As you unwrap it, you see uh, a small statue made of uh, apparently a very a stone, but stone that you have never seen like that. This uh, small statue looks definitely like, uh, um, actually, I, I would like a, a kind of a wisdom check, if uh, you don't mind, somebody who can uh, look behind uh, your shoulder. Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So, okay, that's, that's a statue, and it has uh, uh, closed eyes, closed mouth, uh, big, uh, big lips. Um, to describe it a bit better, you can imagine the, um, the isle of, how is it called, this isle with the big status, statue? The Moai, Moai though? Yeah, something a bit similar. Or the eastern, eastern islands. islands? Yeah, from the islands. Uh, eastern. Yeah, from the eastern islands, something like that, but in eastern a smaller island. size and a flatter rather than a, um, flat rather than a three-dimensional. So oh. it looks like something, perhaps it's more of a historical uh, artifact rather than a religious artifact, is that? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, could I roll I really would like somebody who could analyze this object. Yeah, does yes. anybody have a good history? Maybe. Mm. Um, plus one. Nope. All right. E Emily Emily will uh, stride down to the room. She'll dust off her wand and uh, re 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 reholster her wand <laughs> um, and come, okay. come down the stairs, uh, wave, waving to her audience. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, I actually took history for just a time like this. Don't fail me now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mediocre. There you go. Uh, but that's definitely not from this area. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's an ancient, uh, an ancient uh, civilization. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yeah. She'll kind of toss that that fact out into the group casually. Uh huh. Does anybody want to, like, do, do we want to take a look at what this creature was? It's disgusting, it's so fat. I know, but... Yeah, it's very fat and disgusting, that's for sure. <laughs> but was it like a humanoid or mutated into this, or, you know? That, that's a good, uh, good uh, question, good remark, uh, Becky Ray. Well, I don't know what to roll for that. Um, that would be uh, something like, uh, I don't know, perception is good, it shouldn't be too good. Oh, perception... <laughs> I think I think maybe insight will be the correct skill. Insight, no, in, in, insight's uh, like personality. Yeah. 
Uh, um, then then never mind. Like that. I'm trying to think of it from a religious perspective. Uh, uh, just roll something and uh, I will check it. Roll something, okay. Nature? I roll. Something. roll Na- nature, maybe? Yeah, nature's Friend. great. I like or try. arcana, if it's an arcane creature. Ah, or even that. Yeah, yeah, nature was the right move. Uh, actually, you see, it's a... Wow. To, to nice the best of your knowledge, yeah. it used to be a human. That, right? That's for oh. sure. And even though the, the fingers are now ext- enormous, you actually notice on one hand uh, a ring that, um, that resonates uh, in your mind because those are two interlaced rings, one made of silver and one made of gold. No! Oh, we were looking for rings, oh, no. right? Oh, no, it can't uh, be. It is the guy we were looking for. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Brother Martin, it must be. Oh, this is this is terrible. How are we going to get him uh. back to Auntie? Well, tell him he really let himself go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I fail um, to understand. I fail to understand how his transformation is related to the Andes. Maybe. Can I- Sorry, I thought you were done. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, just that. I was commenting that. Um, yeah, um, Guy, I think you mentioned that this um, blue-skinned creature had really big lips. Yeah. And you also described the statue as having really big lips. Yeah. Emily might do a kind of little back and forth. Does it look like he was like kind of turning into the statue? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. And indeed, uh, you... You think that uh, there is a link between this tattoo and uh, this uh, form yeah, on the floor? Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So I think Emily might say, uh, why does he look like the statue? He became what he was worshipping. Or channeling what he was worshipping? Yeah. Was he bringing Maybe. into fruition this nasty-ass god? Maybe he has a pattern like you. So Obviously paladin, not like me. Yeah. The paladin <laughs> mentioned something about conflicting feeling of, between good and evil down here. Yeah. So this once good man decided to worship some fat slob of a god and got what he deserved. <laughs> mm. well, we're not sure. We're not sure he mutated because he wanted to, right? Either way, I'd be careful with that thing. It might make you fat and blue. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be statue. I put it back on on a box, and if anybody wants it or want to smash it, it's here. Um, Emily will use her detect magic on it. Eldritch sight. Okay. Or on, on the room in general while we're at it, but. Right, is it country? Uh... It is. It's called an invocation. Uh, warlocks get a few of them. It's just gifts granted. Okay. From our patrons, I can an eldritch sight means I can detect magic at will whenever. So no roll, but uh, let me uh, check on my side for. Uh, I mean, if it's magical or not, yeah. Uh, it's not. It's not magical, but uh, it's uh, very. There are some powers attached to it. You you cannot really point your finger on it, but uh, there is something on this statue. Right. Hmm. All I'm saying is, this is the example. Of be careful who you worship. <laughs> if nobody wants a statue, I might take it. Is it carryable? Is it well? If it's oh, carryable, yes, yes. it's uh, it's like uh, maybe maybe a thirty centimeter uh, tall, and uh, width would be a uh, fifteen centimeter. No. I mean, if nobody wants to carry it, I'm okay with it. You can take it. I highly be recommend careful. it. Yeah, I've carried weird. Well, more weird things before, like okay, uh, you, you, you wrap it up back like uh, the bones of cloth and, uh, and put it in your back. Yeah, where okay, I used so to put the bones into. Okay. Oh, I just had a deja vu. Gilles, I want yes. to see if there is anything else. I want to accurately see. It. No, no. Besides uh, what I described to you, there is no, no really other thing. It's, it's really a kind of a, the cellar of a chapel. Where you, yeah. you you doubt that there is more of any, more of things of interest here. Uh, would you guys want to give um, Brother Martin a proper burial here? I mean, we I have mean, shovels. 
before that, I would like to ask the DM about something. You said that I sensed a little bit of a holy aura inside when I used the fine sense earlier. Yeah. So do, do I know where is it coming from inside this room? Uh, that's definitely from this uh, big, uh, huge uh, monster that you killed. Oh, so he also He was has... originally a good guy. Uh, that's why. Okay. He had some good in, left in him. Which is oh, why I'm saying we should probably give him a proper burial. Yeah, it's also the idea, but once you take the ring, so he has something to bring back to the end. Mm -hmm. um, normally, I would agree with you. He needs proper burial, but the situation makes it very hard. Why? Mm, there are skeletons outside the church. Yeah, I mean, just bury him here, down here. Just dig a hole big enough for him. Um, He's really I, big. I feel uncomfortable spending too much time here. Uh, Emily, Emily kind of looks over to the side where there's this massive pile of coal, and she says, "How do you feel about cremation?" Burn down the church. The church uh, is yeah, uh, it's just the church only... will burn down. Unfortunately, oh, church will be fine. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, the church is well. I mean, if we can get out of the church, but. First, we need to take care of those skeletons. Uh, really hoping for a way out down here. Yeah. Um, Can was, I was there any, any other searching to do in this room? Like maybe under the coal there is another yeah. way out or something? I'll look for... Can, can I nice. force the door? Since, since the, stat, the statue that you took sounds really evil, personally, I will just smash it. Hmm. You mean the statue? We don't, uh, we don't yeah. know what the effect of that might be, though. Yeah, we might need this. Anyway, I want to get out of this room. I can't break it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty claustrophobic indeed. All right. Okay, I'll just try to cover the body with coal. If nobody helps me, I'm just doing it. Oh, uh, the just... body is pretty heavy uh, to move, so you just uh, pick. No, the I mean I'm not. He well, I'm, I don't move the the dude. I just move the coal instead. Just try to cover him. <laughs> uh, all right. So you, you do that, uh, and you are uh, about to pick uh, a few blocks of coal uh, in your hand, and you see that actually it's pretty dirty and and it's kind of making your hands black. That's fine. I'm already gray. Yeah, maybe your dress is going to be a sword uh, thing. Yeah, get, get with your point. Okay, well, no, I'm too pretty for this. Maybe someone can say some kind, holy kind of words that I don't know and, and should be gone. Okay. okay. I'm going to, I have a holy symbol, so I'm going to use my holy symbol, just raise it up and say some holy words just to make him rest in peace. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's, that's appreciated. good enough. Yeah. Vicky, as you as you walk by, Emily, um, yeah. kind of ma makes a makes a gesture over you, and uh, uh, let's see. Uh, are, you too, are you trying to press it? Digitate me? Yes. Um, <laughs> so you you you'll be you'll be you'll be cleaned off. There you go, dear. Cheers. <laughs> I know that trick too. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I should have taken a different cantrip then. And I clean you <laughs> up as well. No, it's, it's fine. We can clear each other up. Yeah, you look nice. You look clean. Okay. I I wipe the sweat tell, tell of this. your of your of your forehead. What do you mean sweat? I don't sweat. I'm a oh, girl. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> tell just shakes his head, looks at door, and says, "Brother, we're outnumbered." Uh, just uh, okay. I don't want to be mean, but uh, what about the ring of the, the? Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. Let's uh, make yeah. sure we get those rings, right? So I, I take the rings. I need for uh, for Anti to bring it back to show that you know we found Brother Martin. Brief, yes. Were the rings magical? No, uh, not particularly. No. Okay. And nothing else magical about this fellow, Brother Martin, apparently. No, no, no. Okay. okay. Next problem. Yeah, big problem. Picking out the window, or or just listening. The skeletons uh, are still you active, guys right? Has to be a bit hungry. It's so probably now. Uh, oh, it's hung. Okay. Quarter to one. Well, we may need our strength. 
I don't feel it. Like, oh, okay. So, really, really quickly, we, we got if, yeah. if we're going to just just for argument's sake, if we're going to be running, um, right now it's one thirty. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we should run away. And before nighttime, but on the other hand, Emily is still injured. So if we're not able to get as far away as we need to, she could be in real trouble. I can do something for Emily. I still have powers with, within me. And should we take a short rest? And uh, ah, short rest it? wouldn't be bad, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, short rest is the word for us. Uh, just one. One? one. Yeah, just a quick. I guess we eat something. Okay, yeah. okay time to eat something and to, to refresh a bit. Have your uh, salad sandwich. But we do hear <laughs> the skeleton still shuffling around, right? Yeah, you do have that. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll roll dead. a couple hit dice to recover hit points. Yeah. yeah. And do tell if, if it's still not... If, if you still don't feel completely healthy. Okay. Oh, it does work. Good. There's one. Bad. I'm bad. Uh, I'll do one more. Oh, yeah, I'm back up to full. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Neat. Thanks, oh, Warlocks are the eights, right? Correct. Wow. Um, Wish I had the eight. <laughs> so yeah, an hour has passed and uh, you all feel uh, regenerated and it was good to take a break. I have Although, my spell uh, slot back. Anguish hasn't really left you because of, uh, the skeleton has have always been making a lot of noise uh, all around the, the chapel and it's uh, resonating. Uh, uh, as you know, in, in those types of building, uh, noise is actually uh, to the full. Yeah. We need to try to run away. So, where before we run, do we make a plan where we're running to? I guess outside of the town. How about the light? Yeah, outside town. Yeah, probably. Uh, so, distance-wise, and how far we can get before we collapse? Yep. Mm. Not that far. Like three dashes. Uh, like is. I can move 30 plus a dash is 60. I can do that. Mac for sure I can but do that. Note, so it's 180 we feet were, guaranteed. Uh -huh. and then we found we found a mass of deeds only here, only around the charge. Say it again, you found what? We take note that the the skeletons rise only here in this area around the charge. So maybe there is the possibility that once we leave the hill. The skeleton won't chase us. Oh. Well, what if every skeleton in the town got alerted? <laughs> I don't know. You know, and these are the restless dead. While we are out of breath, they don't care. You know, they might follow us. Uh, mm -mm -mm. That's a good point, actually. I mean, Emily, I can help you with your. Um, with your constitutional problems, possibly. I can, yeah. Well, but that, uh, yeah. I could give you the endurance of a bear. A bear? Yeah. Bears are good. <laughs> you could run as, run like a bear for an hour if we wanna. Take that route. Particular affinity for bears. <laughs> Sounds like a grand idea. Um, so while we're resting, so we're resting for an hour. Um, while we're talking, I just wanted to ask the group. We we had you know a few things that I understood that when we were in the town, people want or were asking us to do for them. We found the hand. Somebody offered us 400 gold for that, but the, the main mission was to remove the curse. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The main issue was to remove the curse from this. Yeah, time. to reopen I know. the town. I don't think but, we have a clue. Okay. I don't know where to go. Think, yeah. Maybe that statue is related to what's happening here. Maybe that combined with the burial mound? 
the, 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 everything seems to revolve around this witch who was hung by the tree and then the, the burial mound. True. Oh, actually, what if we show the statue to skeletons? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let's try. I'll take the statue out and show it to one of the friendlier looking skellies. Uh, hey. Ah, okay. Uh, as you show the statue to the, um, the skeletons, they, they get excited and excited and excited. And you uh -oh. see uh, uh, more skeletons coming actually from the sides, uh, converging towards the, the, the statue. Oh, that's actually good. Okay. So Who wants to be a hero? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking about it too. Uh, and they are really, really getting excited now. It's like yeah, a, I know, you know, right? The group of uh, skeletons is growing and growing and more and more uh, from uh, where you are showing the, the statue. I look back at Emily and say, look, I have fans. Okay, how about showing that statue out of the back window and when they go for it, we go through the front door and yeah. it's gone. Yeah, we could just put the statue there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, just show it to them from the so... window like you are doing now until we all gather and then just drop it. Which direction are we running? Where are we going? Out of town, um, like uh, Tony said, right? Out of town? Like where we came from? How far is it? Do we have like a plan B just in case we get exhausted and get a plan? No, I want to show you the map, the, the global map. Of, yeah. uh, no, 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 no. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Yeah. Ray, can you give me the statue a second? I want yeah, here to you go. Something. I toss it over. Okay. I take so, the statue yeah. and I just want to go in front of the tombstone of the saint. Yeah. And I want to offer the saint a prayer yeah. by my fate and ask okay. him. Like, if there is any sign you can give me to how to stop these things, what I have to do with this statue, if you want okay. to protect this town, please okay. help us. Okay. So that's all. Okay. So roll or die. That would be prayer if you have something like that. Religion? Yeah. Hmm. So, yes, uh, indeed, uh, a light is coming down towards you. And lifting up your spirit, and you are penetrated with faith, and, and you you swear you are seeing a, a light of uh, a, a, a ray of the, the light of the sun. Ah, sun ray. And you are waiting, and and hmm, nothing happens. So you're a bit embarrassed, uh, and you pretend nothing happened, and that's about it. <laughs> come to, towards your. It's okay. Your no, sis, you did good. Mm -hmm. It just seems like Senor Ray's um, powers won't even reach this dark place. Uh, hmm. I mean, it's a good idea, though. You guys said you came after some sort of curse or whatever. Clearly, it's that thing. Yeah, then I want to try something else. Um, this is going to be weird, but okay. I'm going to open the wooden box with the relic of the saint. Okay. And I want to try to put the statue close to the hand and see if there is any reaction. Um, Emily, can you uh, roll for a perception or um, yeah, wisdom? Perception? Or... Investigation? Yeah. yeah, investigation. Is that what is that what I need? Investigation? Yeah, just roll twenty. I want to check something. Ah, <laughs> that's what. No, that, that's fine. Actually, you you instantly recognize and connect the dot between uh, what you came for and what's in this uh, wooden box. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, she's uh, she's watching it, but uh, she'll yeah. she'll have to wait on that one. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh -huh. um, yes, Tony, what you are saying? So um, yeah, that would be good. But if we try to investigate a bit about this hand. So what should I do? Investigate. Um, yeah, that would be more magic than anything else to determine what's exactly. Uh... I'll touch you and give you guidance. Let Senoray guide you with your whatever you're doing. Arcana? Arcana, yeah. So you can do a D4 plus. So Arcana. it's 11 plus D4. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's... 14. Ah. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Um, 
basically uh, this hand is holy. Uh, you are quite sure it's uh, the hand of uh, Saint Sidvela. And uh, it gives you uh, a protection, constant protection from evil on good spell. Wow. Yeah. That's it has seven good. charges, seven charges. You can expand one charge as an, as an action to produce one of the following spell. Cure wounds or greater restoration. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah. But nothing happens with the statue, right? No. Okay, I just close the wooden box and put it in my bag. Yeah. I'm starting to have second thoughts about Tony's original idea of destroying the statue now that we've seen what it does to the skeletons. Yeah. I mean, does what... Lily need uh, like your wounds or something now, or is she fine? I think she's fine. She's fine. Uh... I'm awful. Thank you for checking. For me. It will both be for me. I will have already smashed the statue. Yeah. Okay. If you give me the statue, I would like to just oop. run like a bear. Oopsies. No. Um. <laughs> yeah, run like a bear. But just you know, just walk around here. Try to lure all the skeletons together, uh -huh. and then probably space place the statue here, and then we run. Uh, just let's talk it through a little bit more because. If we leave the statue behind and it turns out we didn't do something with it we needed to, then we're going to be... Oh, that's excited. true. Well, so, maybe just lure all the skeletons here, right? And, the run the <laughs> and then just run like a bear. Well, Why don't you just throw it from the window and they would go there and then we go through the front door? Well, again, yeah. because we, we don't know if we need it. I'm just wondering if, if what... Look, the, these, these creatures came from the ground. They came from the grave. And they're attracted to the statue. Would it not follow logic that if we return the statue to a grave, that the, the that the undead would go back to the grave? What grave? I don't know. There is a there is a burial mound that was talked about. Um, oh, there. Yeah. That's actually not a bad idea. Maybe that's the solution to the curse. So we need to look for that grave. Did you see this burial mound? What do you remember about it? Tell me. I think we did. Maybe I can put the pieces together. I'm good at things like that. Not everyone is. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's not me. It's my character. <laughs> that's what my character would say. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's in, in character. No problem. I seem to recall seeing the burial mound somewhere near the edge of the marshes. Not far from here, I thought. Right? Wasn't it sort of just up the trail a little bit to the north of where the path leading to the chapel was? And what's yes. this you said about a witch? There, there was there was a girl who was accused of being a witch who was hung by a tree, and she seemed to be some sort of harbinger for for this this situation or somehow related to it. We found her body. We were told by one person what we needed to do was to burn the body. We felt bad about doing that, but we tried to give her a a burial at sea, Viking style. Um, but her 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 body returned and regenerated into her original grave at, at overnight. So that obviously was not the solution. Um, but there was something about- She was a local uh, girl? Yes. There was something though about this burial bound having been disturbed and someone having helped to have dug through it. So, and maybe, I, I'm just feeling that maybe this thing was taken out of the burial mound. This thing, as I mentioned earlier, is not of local design. This is from somewhere else. Mm. And you, she looks at Tawny, had mentioned that these stairs have been used yeah. relatively recently. Probably that by the creature. Right. The creature but relatively recently. There. Yes, probably every day, right? Hmm. Well, the, the creature ancient. was the one, the creature was the one ringing the bell, probably. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. And, uh, and how did you know this, Brother Martin? But Brother Martin's a relative of mine, actually. Oh, so sorry for your loss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she does have some scene, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Eldritch Blast to his your uncle's face. You're a great uncle, but yeah. I... What would he be doing with this foreign statue? Was he like a sailor or something? I don't know. I left home when I was quite young and I, I don't have a family history. I, I went to visit my aunt and she told me not much about him. 
Oh, but you know, he's a priest. He is actually, he was actually the priest of uh, the chapel. This, you know. He must have, I mean, he was a good man. So he must have had something in mind with the statue, something that he yeah. was trying I mean, to do good. Consider that the saint of this chapel, Saint Sidera, was connected to a mermaid. And the creature we, the creature we fought resembled somehow a fish right the scales hmm yes so maybe this statue is somehow related to whatever happened in this city when San Sidera was alive and what do we know about this saint anyway connected to a mermaid you say the story goes that the, the saint um uh, was befriended uh, a mermaid and uh, they, they, they were very, very good uh, buddies and they had long talks and the mermaid was visiting quite often the, the saint. Um, Are we near the sea? Yes, it's a cliff that is... Uh, uh, over the sea? Okay. Over the sea, yes, indeed. Mm. I see. Can we see the big map? Please. Yep, yep, sorry. Okay, let me put you on the big map. How do I do that? Uh, you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to move uh, the curse. He hurts himself in his no, confusion. No, no, no. Okay, so that's the village. Um, let me put you on the bay, the full bay. Hold on. So now I can. Th thank you guys for cooperating. I'm actually, I'm hearing the story for the first time right now. So this is uh, me trying to catch up. Thank mm. you. And. Um, that's, that's the chapel on uh, the area that you will see. Do you see the map? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what is the, uh, the path? There's just a path that leads to the marsh. Is that what that is? That's going slightly to the north from the chapel? Yeah. Yeah. Marsh is bad. Hmm. And I can show you the, the city map if you want again. Please. Where was the witch? Yeah, uh, closer to the city on the other side of that bridge. The city map, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the city map. So, the witch was that? around this uh, area. I think she was around here. Yeah, and I think you're right. Yeah, that area. Here? Oh, this area. The tree was here. The red yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. At the crossing. At the oh, crossing. Okay. And the mound, where was the burial mound? Further north? It is. I think so, yeah. And we don't see anything about the sea. Maybe Patrick oh. would do something. Maybe we need to talk to Patrick about this. Patrick? The skeleton. The one um, that was in, mentioned in the journal. Um, yeah, we met a skeleton. Talk to the skeleton. <laughs> yeah, we met a skeleton. His name's Patrick. He's quite friendly. Actually, um, it was a, a zombie rather than a zombie. Sorry, sort of zombie rather than skeleton. His, his name is Patrick Hart. Apparently, he he we would really like a door. We tried to get him one, but it didn't work out. Um, but he's the doors are hard to find. Yeah. Um, sorry, guys. I'll be right back. He was he was mentioned in this journal, um, and it said. Terminal illness. Oh, it just talked about the terminal illness of Patrick Hart. Yeah. And a bad dream about a witch. I don't know. The only other person we've met who might be able to shed some light on this is, is Patrick, as far as I can think. Mm -hmm. And where was this Patrick? He's in that little, um, if you look in the very top of the mouth, uh, top of the map underneath the word Kenmouth, um, there's a little circled farm. He's there. He's oh. here. There he is. But to get there, you have to go up that path, and we were attacked <laughs> by giant frogs, and there seems to be bad things along there. That one almost killed us. <laughs> Every time Someone here has very ugly yeah. luck. You know, the first time it was actually flying uh, monsters, and then it was a frog the second time. Yeah. So, yeah. That's Sturges. A Those uh, monsters were Sturges. 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 Oh, great. Yeah. Ugh, talk about Sucking blood creatures. out of you. Well, they're not there anymore. So, 
Might oh, be safe. Okay. Might be and safe. what uh, what were you guys going to be doing with this hand? Does this? But, but can I just ask the DM question before we answer that? Yep. yep. <laughs> If from from our prior adventure, which also related to a hand, mm. was, is there a tie-in? To, is this the same hand we think, or was there some relation? No, no. You, you, you indeed uh, remember the connection, but apparently it's a something holy, and the other thing was something evil. Okay, it's totally different things. Okay, that's helpful. I, I leave it to the rest of the party to answer that question. I wasn't actually there when that conversation happened. Mm. What exactly are your plans with this hand? She'll ask whoever has an answer. And Tawny, Tawny is BRBing, so anyone else? I don't think we had a plan. <laughs> Do I look like a plan? Do I look like a girl with a plan to you? Uh, no, not we, really. We, like, the reason we bought a wooden box to put the hand inside is that we were told about the hand and that it was the uh, reason of the curse in this city. And I think, I think that's supposed... clearly wrong. Yeah, that's that's what we were told in the beginning from a girl that we met who told us about this city and the curse and everything. The witch? Oh, someone named uh, Andrew, I think, in the... No, in the... no not the witch. Uh, there is a girl who met us uh, and told us about this city. So what was her name? I'm back. Her name is Catherine. Catherine. The name yeah. was Catherine. But there was another person yeah, named Catherine, Andrew yeah. who told us about the hand. And, mm. and he just offered us 400 gold for it, as far as I know. Yeah, Catherine, Catherine. Yeah, it was Catherine. She gave us 100 golds and asked us to let the curse on the old port. Yeah. So, clearly it's not the hand. Like, clearly they're ignorant peasants. There's, there's two different peasants. There's there's Catherine and there's Andrew. Not those peasants. The one who said that, well. Right. So Catherine offered just wants to get the town reopened, but Andrew is somebody else and he wanted us to bring it hand. I don't think he told us uh, Andrew is the local priest of... Uh... Oh, I think you mean Andrea, maybe? Andrew, the, uh, the priest. Um, uh, he said that mermaids... So how did friends. this other thing, this 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 ugly big lip statue end up here? That's that's the question. Where do we put it? No. Martin brought it here? Someone brought it to Martin? It seems like it could be related to the mermaid thing that, that was befriended Martin. Oh, yeah, maybe the mermaids brought it. But we don't know where there's any mermaids around here. Let's, I thought let's, we might need to ask Patrick. They're right here in the bay. Don't you see them? There's two of them. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, the DM uh, messing up with uh, <laughs> bugs. <laughs> I, I'm thinking that only only Patrick is the only person we have left in this entire town that could give us some answers. Uh, do you want to go back here again? I would tend to, but you don't guess... have to do that tonight. We could do that in the morning. We could try and exit the town and come back again in the morning. That's not a bad idea, yeah. That's not a bad idea to talk with that guy. Yeah, we have to talk um, to him again. But we need to bring his door. What? Guys, let's have a better look at the charge between the books. If there is any... I think you found a journal, a journal, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Whose journal is that? Well, it's hard to say. Which journal did you find? Because you find a couple, I think. Ah, uh, well, the one in the ta well, the one in the chapel in the bookcase, the hidden yes. one. Yes. So this one is uh, the journal uh, of uh, Brother Morton. Okay, so it was Martin's. Right. And uh, you hear, uh, you read here about um, three elements essentially. One is about uh, is concerned about uh, girls uh, playing. Uh, a bit too close to the barrow barrow mount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another one is about uh, the the witch that they hung uh, recently and is having a sort of a nightmare and bad feeling about uh, what they have done. Mm -hmm. And the, the third point is uh, that, uh, and it was before he was uh, was concerned by uh, the health of one of the local. Which is Patrick, but uh, apparently you have met that was terminally ill. Um, but there is no more entry uh, about him. I see. We have the Barrow Mound, we've got Patrick, and we've got the girls. The girls we think we met. And maybe. Yeah, we, we, meet, we meet probably some of the girls. But. We have... the Barrow Mound. Yeah, we've never went to the Barrow Mound, have we? 
I think we we didn't go there. I think yeah, we should we check it out. We should check there. Yeah. Just in case. We might meet someone interesting or find something. So if we'll, do we take the statue with us or not? I guess it's a big question. I think then, so. So we try and dash across that bridge and hopefully they don't follow us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Sounds like a plan. And if they do, we put down the statue and we keep running. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. It's a plan. I mean, I mean yeah, the statue is the plan Z. Plan Z. <laughs> And, and then asked, if we keep running, we'll run to the self, I suppose. That's my name over there. Did um, did, did you guys finish inspecting that three-fingered body up there? It's been mentioned several times, but I didn't witness anybody investigating it. Did that happen last session? What? The three-fingered body that's by the uh, by yeah, the altar yeah, here. Yes, where is the skeleton? Yeah, I think it's, it's a fisherman or something, right? Yeah. Fisherman's clothes. Oh, that's right. We did say that. We don't know why he's missing three fingers. That's. Oh, hey, quick, quick question. Um, talking of three, the number three keeps coming up. There was something in the prior journal we found about a three-eyed pendant, mm. an ancient necklace. And they, I think it was in the, supposed to be in the burial site in the marsh, maybe in the burial. Yeah, I haven't checked the marshes yet. I think I still have that. I think I took it. Did you take it? Yeah, I think I took it. Yeah. Uh, I think I okay. took that one. Well, you're right. Yeah, it seems to be free is the lucky number, or well, the unlucky number. Any, any does that do anything? Is it? Do you know anything? Uh, I think you, you may have fro thrown it, but you may describe it to uh, to uh, your new companion, to Emily. Did we throw it away? I yeah. think no. Yeah, you consider it as uh, useless, not in fashion anyway. Oh, okay. okay. So is, is that the one that said roof on it? Is this a ring we found after killing that guy inside the house? Getting a ghost, I think, inside a house or something like that. Hmm? Is the ring you are talking about? It's a ring we found on the body of a ghost or something that we killed when we entered one of the houses in Central Town. Is this the ring we are talking about now? No, no, you are, to, you are talking about two things. There is a one ring of protection that one of you is uh, wearing. I don't remember who. That's and a cool. necklace that looks uh, quite ancient and pretty old. Uh, maybe two holes for being 15 years old. There was a ring or a necklace I don't remember that we found on the body of a ghost after we fought with it. I think that was the free eyed necklace, I think. And we throw it away. Yeah, and I think so. Yeah. So, putting these pieces together again, we had the concern about the girls playing by the Barrow Mound. We met those girls in, in the basement of the. Um, what do you call it? The, 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 the place with the door and make the door, the craft shop. But uh, Iron but, Smith, uh, but the, the workshop. Smith, uh, yeah. But in addition, the, the, the girl herself, the one who's accused of being a witch, she's a girl. I wonder if she was also, you know, playing by the Barrow Mound and maybe that's what started the whole thing. Maybe she was the one that started it. Uh, uh, so maybe that's related too. So I don't know. Like, Barrow Mound and Patrick are the two missing pieces, I think. Maybe especially the barrel mount. We haven't checked it out. Yeah. How about yeah. we check out the barrel mount and then swing around to Patrick? Yeah, if we can get there without the skeleton. Yeah, well, so. yeah. Sounds like we got a plan. Does everybody go for this? Uh, okay, can we check uh, if there is any name on that I'm statue written, written on that statue? Can I check if there is Do any you... name written? Actually... Yeah. There is also one another details about that we should share with Emily. The reason okay. we are in this chapel, the reason we are in this chapel is that yeah. uh, no, never mind, never mind. Oh, what? please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Please. Uh, I wanted I to say something, then realized it was stupid. So she said, no, never mind. Uh, transparency, oh, I see at best. Go on. I promise I won't make fun of you. Huh. You guys no, can do the, 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 the reason we are here. Each other, just the thing, just the thing. <laughs> the, the reason we are here now is that we are in a safe spot, right? So maybe instead of running away, we could just rest here for today. And get your strength back and then decide what to do. 
we tell if the skeletons come inside at night? Is there signs or anything? I think we should be fine, but I have no proof. So, uh, they are, so we are not sure if they can come inside at night or not yet. Yeah, I wouldn't stay here, to be honest. Kind of risky. It kind of creeps me out to be surrounded by undead constantly. Are you guys pretty low on like spell slots and things like that? Definitely. No. I'm low on spells. I'm, I'm zero, actually. I use oh, yeah. No, I'm not low. But... Oh, I'm fine. I, I just recharged. Relax, recharge on a short rest. Boo. Is we only have two, though. Really <laughs> okay, so... If we decided to run away, let's run away. Let's, let's use the statue as a... As a safe... Safe switch. As a decoy. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. And be ready, guys. I'm, okay, I'm not okay. very confident about running away. But are we, are we carrying the statue with us or are we going to leave it behind? If we carry it and then use it as a plan B, as you said. Okay. Is anyone yeah. particularly speedy? But before we run away, can I check if not there really. is a name on that statue? I just want to see because uh, when we found that talisman before, it had a name on it. It's a roof, A R U F. So is that name on that statue or not? Just ask me. So that's a good point. Uh, Doran, uh, grab uh, for a few seconds the, the statue and inspect it. And uh, no, there is no, no mark, no nothing. Just a plain primitive uh, statue. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't want to meta game, but I kind of want to give a chance to these chase rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, can we um, bolster our our energies before we start to run as? Do bar are barbarians a little bit faster? Or is that not at level four? Maybe level five? Yeah, not not now. I'm yeah, yeah. Well, happy. not yet. Oh, that's too bad. And another question: Are halflings a little slower? Do they, they only yeah. have twenty five movement? Yes. Twenty five movement. Yeah. Yes. That's gonna suck. Can halfling be carried without encumbering, say, a barbarian? Um. Let's see. I can tell you what my what my strength is. What I can carry. Mm. Hold on. My strength is. 18, my carry weight. Oh, that's, pff, yeah. 15 <laughs> kilograms. But I don't know if it's going to still, I mean, it, I, I could carry. My armor just, weighs as much as you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can carry a halfling easy. I yeah. just don't know actually, whether that's going to Yeah, do actually, if you carry me, I could be the one holding the statue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. I did carry Tony before, remember? Actually, like, we already did yeah. that before. Yeah, I, I like the idea. Just a just a little bit cautious because if I'm carrying, there's I imagine a chance I could I could slip my grip. I could drop the thing. It could create an additional, you know, roll complications. Um, I mean, I think it would make it so you couldn't attack or whatever. All you could do would that would be no problem. You know, you don't be attacking anyone. If if we think it, it would work, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, I think we can do it. Yeah. Thank you, Carl. You're adorable. <laughs> you know, my uh, the light is getting a bit more golden. On the, um, uh -oh. Inside the church, it's a bit uh, less warm, and it's now probably 3.30. Yeah. Okay. So what Sorry, about guys. The I, need, I, I, have a, I have a kid emergency. I will be back in five minutes. Oh, no uh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Oh, no so I, I, think, I think we want to, like, these are the doors we have to go through, right? So we probably want to get these skeletons as far away from us as we possibly can mm. and then start our run from there. So at least yeah. we'll have like a little bit of a head start. That's a good idea. So I could, I could stay in the back of the, of the chapel with, with, with uh, Tawny on my shoulders holding the statue. Or just like scoop her up by the door or whatever, yeah. I thought we are running away from the front door, but... But I mean, I could, sure. we could start back here and just have a longer run. They have to mm -hmm. run around the corner. We run right through the center, so we've got a little bit shorter distance. Right, we'd have a little them, bit of a head start. Yeah, if we get them right by this window where I'm here, mm -hmm. then they group up there. We run straight. They have to go around this this sort of big block thing. Yep, so they'd have be 30 or so feet behind us, 20, 30 feet Maybe. behind us at, and at you guys, best. You guys start all the way at the front, and you're, you're good, you know, whatever, 60 feet in front. And I promise to snipe any skeletons that get too close to you. And maybe you can take that bear constitution that, uh, that yeah. What is this about bears? I'd bears. rather run like like a gazelle or something. Why a bear? Bears, bears are, are cool. Pretty. 
Yeah, <laughs> bears are cool. Look at them. Yeah, I'm like a bear. I can still hear you during the emergency. Actually, if we get surrounded by too many skeletons, remember I can turn them. Okay. You can do well, what, sorry? Yeah, you can turn skeletons. Turn undead, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a good backup plan too. Yeah, I, mean, I think we have a lot of backup plans. So yeah, let's go for it. Good this. What could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing. It's a perfect plan. Yeah, we have plans. Do you, do you want us to to describe the plan that we're, we have in mind to you, so you, you know what we're thinking? You want me to describe your plan? No, no, no. Do you want us to describe our plan to you, so you know what our plan is? Uh, I think it's pretty clear. You will be carrying Tony with uh, the statue on uh, in the bottom um, right corner of the uh, chapel. Yep. Well, I don't understand where the others are standing. Actually, they're going to be at the front doors. Yeah, the front doors. And once we get, if we can get all the skeletons in the back, then yeah. they'll, make a, they'll make a rush for the front, and then. And so. Then Indeed, as uh, you are uh, with Tony uh, moving towards the, the back uh, of a, uh, of a chapel, you see some movement out of the windows and uh, hear a commotion uh, at the front of uh, the chapel. Yeah. Like extra yes, commotion or just thing, that? The, the statue, uh, I want to wrap it in a cloth. I don't want to show it. Okay, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's uh, it's wrapped. Actually, uh, it was in your backpack already, so you were not showing it. I have one okay. more question about the move the move rule. Sorry, the, the dash and chase rules. Um, so I understand about the dash action, but typically you have both a, a movement action and a dash action. Is the dash action on top of the movement action? So it's sort of you've got your movement plus your dash, or yeah, or it's all movement. Mo movement is on. Is the, yeah, it's on top of. You have so movement could, and then you have dash. So right. if, for example, the skeletons are traveling at, at 30 feet and we're traveling at 30 feet, we, then we wouldn't actually have to use the dash unless they get really close to us. In, in theory, yeah, that, yeah, that would be the advantage of a head start, yeah. In theory. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to check. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Get the me, join me by the door. Yeah, Come on. We have a plan. Chop, chop. Get to the chopper. OK. All right. So I need uh, somebody, everybody in front of the door to be in the front of the door on uh, Tony, on um, yeah. on uh, uh, Carl, where they're supposed to be. OK. Uh, Tony is uh, busy with uh, his daughter, I think. I'm here. I'm here. I'm oh, just meeting. Okay. It's okay. You you are dealing uh, okay, uh, Andrea. Yeah, emergency ended. It was a biological emergency. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so, Andrea, yeah, Tony's in the back with me. I think by the window here. Yeah. You yeah, should be there. Calling the statue. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so as you slowly open the door, you see uh, a couple of skeleton uh, um, kind of uh, wandering uh, in the front uh, while all the others are converging towards the... Well, we need to blast these in the front and then make a run for it. How oh, come I cannot grab the... Uh... Layer. Okay, which layer am I? Map object. Okay, sorry, but uh, there are a couple of um, uh, skeletons wandering in front of the entrance. Okay. Yeah. Blast them. Okay, so everybody for initiative. Yep. Yep. Draw. Okay, Kyle, it's 14, 13, 19, nice. Uh, next is uh, Emily. Yep, yep, sorry, my, my character sheet keeps disappearing. I have to keep looking for it. Okay, sorry. big key rate. 12.14. Okay, interesting. I mean, it's, Are you... it's oh. 12, but 14 is my deck. So if there's a you know, tie. So first is Tony. Then, hold on. I, I'm here. It's 13. Okay. Uh, Tony is 19. Next is uh, Carl. 
Okay, Tony and Cal, you are together, so that's good. Uh, then it's Doran, 13, Becky Ray, 12, yeah. and Tony, 3. Okay, so uh, Tony and, uh, and uh, Cal, what are you doing? Standing by the window trying to make you know, commotion so to attract the skeletons. Yeah, yeah. as you, you do that, you do see that uh, the, the number of the skeletons is growing and growing by, by the second. Uh, and uh, that's all you do, basically, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so, Tony, you are doing the same. You are clinging on uh, on Cal. And uh, next is uh, Doran. You are slowly opening the door, and you can see a couple of uh, skeletons in front of you. Okay. So the plan is uh, somebody said that we are getting bless, or should I just charge and attack, guys? Oh, bless, bless is nice, but if you have the spell slots. Uh, no, no, not me, not me. I'm already blessed, slots. but I mean, yeah, sure. You can only bless three people, so you have to choose wisely. <laughs> Okay, so I'm asking Becky, I guess. So do you want me to charge at them, or are you going to bless them? Uh, bless sounds good. Okay, so I'm not going to charge at them then, so I... He's, he's saying blast, not bless. He's asking <laughs> He's asking someone's going to throw a spell. Yeah. Oh. Are you going to cast a spell on these skeletons, or do you want me to just attack them? Oh. Um, I, I think we just want to run. And yeah. Isn't that, wasn't that the plan? We aren't fighting the skeletons, right? We're just I mean, trying to get by? Yeah, but we kind of need to open a path. They are in front of the door. We can't just yeah. run. We need to blast But they aren't these. even going to get attack of opportunity, right? Because we're in chase mode. Just just go. Uh, yeah, I guess. Unless I misunderstood. I think Fine. that's the I'm broken gonna, part. Yeah, just I'm go gonna, for it. I'm going to run them. So I go behind, like, around the skeletons. Okay. Just, just run. Okay, so that's, uh, let's say you move, uh, what? Uh, 30, 30. Plus dash is another 30. Yeah. And if you're dash. not doing anything with your action, then that's another 30. No. No? Uh, yeah, fine. I'm, I'm running 60, then, 30 plus 30. You, yeah, you can't double the dash. You can have one dash per turn. Yeah, but... You know, and we're getting the dash as a free action because of the chase rules. No, it's not on top of another dash, though. Yeah, so uh, how far yes. are you away from uh, your initial position? Should be 60 feet. 60 feet. Yeah, 60. 60 feet, yeah. Okay, let me check something. All right, so you have a, a couple of uh, skeleton that are a bit moving out of the way, like... Okay, continue. Next. Yeah, guys, I made a way. Run. Okay. So I'm next, I guess. Um, okay. I would like, I, f I have to touch you. Um, I'll put my hand on Emily's l right shoulder. Okay. Utter a few holy words. And uh, Emily, you suddenly feel like you have the strength of a bear. Oh. <laughs> strength uh, of a bear or the constitution of a bear? Well, uh, it's called um, enhance ability, and it's it says bears bears endurance. Okay, yeah, that so sounds like constitution. The target yeah. advantage on constitution checks. Nice. And you also gain two d six temporary hit points, which I would Ooh. like you to roll. Thank you, sir. Because I'm terrible at rolling other stuff. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. nice. Okay. And then I run 60 feet. Okay, 60. To well, Doran. So basically, I'm now tied with Doran. Okay. Uh, next would be uh, actually a those uh, thing. Let me see how far we go. So 30 plus one dash. A dash, a dash for the, the skeleton is what? Another 30? Probably. Uh, I'm dash? assuming they're. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so basically you have four skeletons that are uh, kind of uh, getting parallel to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Next. Next is uh, uh, actually Emily. Oh, already? I was rolled a three. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Basically the same thing. She's uh, she's out the door. Um. So my understanding, like uh, uh, Becky just did, bless as an action, and then she used her movement, and then she's using her free action for the uh, dash. Basically, I'd like to do the same thing. I'll be I'll be tossing an eldritch blast at uh, this one of the nearest skeletons here, just to. Because yeah. I can. Why, why waste an action, right? Yeah. Okay, so you, you catch up, basically. Yeah. Yeah, we all amazingly are exactly the same speed. It's, it's, a, it's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh okay. gosh. Sorry, I am waiting for my character sheet to stop freezing. All right. Uh, next. Who is next? Oh, oh. She's still attacking. Yeah. Oh, you're attacking. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's a match. 14 hit. Yeah, 14 hit. Okay, so let me see. Uh, that goes through the, um, the armor uh, class of a skeleton. Oh. Roll for damage. Okay. Oh. Okay, <laughs> what type of damage is that? Force. Mm, okay, that's. That that's equating to uh, bludgeoning or not at all? Yeah, yeah, basically. So we can uh, double this uh, another die, please. Ah, not okay. All right, so that's fourteen damage in total. Okay, one of the skeleton you cut both his legs and it falls <gasps> on the floor. Oh yeah. Are there <laughs> there are four of the skeletons that are in the front. Is that right? How many? Uh, parallel to 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 them. Yeah, so now there's three. Okay. Yeah. Great. So wow, I good job. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next is uh, actually uh, Carl. No, Tony. Tony. Well, I, I if I can delay my action by Carl's, I will. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's do this. Because okay. basically you are carried by Carl, so you are more dependent on Carl. Okay. Yeah. Well, Carl. Tell, tell it, so it looks like most of the most of the skeletons are in the back now. Sort of near the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's really a, a lot of them, a lot, a lot, a lot of them. More, uh, actually, you, you realize <laughs> if you do a perception check, uh, we'll see how many you you manage to okay. assess there. Uh, All right, yeah, probably more than ninety, let's say. One nine or nine zero? Nine zero. Wow, oh my God! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Okay, this is. Um, can you do another uh, perception check? I want to to make sure about something. No. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I'm going to start to run because it seems like a good thing to do. Yeah. So Sixty feet. Everyone's um, doing it. Okay. Five, 10, okay. 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50. Um, I am not, as, it looks like I'm as the same distance as everybody else, but I'm not. I'm only about 10 feet outside the door. Okay, only 10 feet outside the door. Okay. How about we keep the distance in um, one of these little circles on our tokens? Uh, let me create a new page. Create a new page. Yeah, or it's better. A new page. Yes, there is a new page. And let me put you on this new page. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a lot of great tons. Yeah. Oh. So if you could, guys, could go to the new page. Okay. And uh, start playing the the chase music. Okay. So we yeah, are same. parallel I'm with these guys, I guess. Uh, there are three yeah. of them that you are parallel with. Okay. I'm, not, I'm further back. So they, would be, they should be about 30, 30. You guys should be about 30 feet ahead of me. Is that right? Uh, you know, like, uh, however big the chapel is, is how far we are ahead of you. However big, was, we're the chapel uh, distance apart. Let's make it 20 feet. Uh, 20 feet, yeah. 10, 20 feet from them. I think it's uh, about right. Oh, 20 feet. So this is 5 or 5, 10. Okay. Actually, no, we can't know exactly how, how many feet you are. 
It's the length of the chapel. Yeah, I think yeah, the chapel is 50 feet, right? The chapel is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That would be 50 for you, yeah. Yeah, and they went 60 outside the, outside the chapel. Yeah. So I'm 50 feet behind them. Yeah, okay. I'm off the map. Well, but uh, let's keep you on the map. Just okay. uh, You are with Tony, of course. Yes. Okay. Uh, I need a skeleton somewhere here because there are three of them. Next in line is a Becky. Uh, no, actually, it's Doran. So, Doran, you are sure. parallel here. It should be here. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um... I will keep running, but I would like to cast. Let me see. No, not a spell, actually. I would like to use my channel divinity. Yeah. Uh, conquering presence. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So basically, as an action for. Okay, I'm gonna copy that. Just in case. Here. There it is. So I'm going to force all the creatures around me that are within 30 feet to make a wisdom throw. And yep. if they fail, they become frightened for one minute. Okay. Uh, it's done? Uh, yeah, they need to roll. The skeletons need to roll uh, wisdom. Uh, okay, actually, uh, you notice that your, uh, your spell is uh, ineffective. On, on all of them? Yes. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to move again. I'm going to dash. Uh, so dash and move again. Okay. So it's going to be 60 feet. So all right. So you're safe, running. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let, let's cut it by two, uh, divide it by two. So that would be uh, just just progress a bit in front on a, we make a, this. Uh, okay. I like this. Yeah. Ten. I uh, want my token. Okay, so okay, mm -hmm. next is actually uh, the skeleton. So you guys are, are, are barely noticing it, but the skeleton are, are, are moving uh, towards the back. Yeah. Not in the point. direction of uh, of uh, Tony and Cal. Uh -oh. Next is Becky Ray. Well, seeing that. Uh... As I'm running, just turn around, point my finger at one of the skellies, and cast mm -hmm. Guiding Bolt. Okay. At the ones that are heading towards Call and um, yeah. my friend. Okay, I'll pick one. Okay. All right. I just pick one random. I don't know. Da, 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 spells Guiding Bolt. Uh, level one, yes. Oh. Uh, Okay, well, I would like to spend the sorcery point to roll that because that's terrible. Okay. Uh, for the six, that that all is terrible. Yeah, not bad, but yeah, twelve. So that's against uh, what armor class? Oh, sorry. So I rolled a seventeen. Okay, that's good. And uh, you make uh, twelve damage. In, twelve uh, radiant in... damage against I don't know. You choose a skeleton. Yeah, so I pick a skeleton, uh, let's say uh, this one, and uh, you see the, 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 the bones vibrating and glowing and just exploding. Yeah, yeah keep running! Okay. And now, I guess, how much is that? Yeah, I'm, I'm where Doran is. Yeah, so you're moving. Uh, you see, actually, uh, right uh, behind uh, um, Tony and Cal, uh, around six skeletons. One one of those uh, circles represents six skeletons converging towards them. Uh -huh. oh. no, not too far now. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, is it Michael, you're saying? Yes, Emily, sorry. Okay. Um, all right. Well, she wasn't expecting that many, but I guess there were 90 skeletons over there, though, so I guess it could be worse. Yep. <laughs> I appear to have accidentally, how does that work? There we go. Um, all right, well, um, 
she will again speak her arcane words and the voice of her patron e echoing her own there. Mm -hmm. um, and she will get a hex. So get a hex on this one. Okay. Uh, and I'm right now I'm kind of like uh, in the background, like looking up force damage. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure it, it does count as bludgeoning. I like, it seems like it kind of should, but. Okay. So let's ignore the bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, I'm scanning and right this very moment. Right, it's saying um, force is pure magical damage, unshaped, untyped, raw magic. I see. I see. Uh, doo -doo. Penetrates right into your soul. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I, I, I think maybe it's not bludgeoning. I'm so sorry. Uh, um, no, no, never mind. Let's, let's move on. Okay. Uh, anyway, so um, a hex on him, which means if I hit, I'll have the extra d6. Um, and blast. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Goes through. Touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. Um, so I will roll for that damage. I wonder if I can do this. Oh, what pissy right. damage. <laughs> okay, a modest uh, nine damage. So the, the skeleton loses a, a few uh, uh, ribs, but apparently it continues uh, towards. Uh, and, so, oh, and she will at um, Cal there, uh, she will admonish him, run. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, next is actually uh, Tony. Okay, so basically, basically we are surrounded by eight skeletons. Am I uh, right? Yeah. There are uh, si uh, six in your back, and uh, yes, two here, and uh, you see more converging in your back again. The animals. The the six in your back are five feet from us. Uh, a bit That's less, a, a bit more. Sorry, a bit more. I, I, I put them together uh, for for scale purposes. Uh, a bit, uh, can you give more. me the how many feet they are for us? But probably Max. fifteen feet away. Fifteen feet. Yeah. Okay, then I guess I will do this. Okay. So all the undeeds within thirty feet. Yeah. Have to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, so you have great hopes on your turn undead that you are sure succeeded, but it doesn't affect apparently they are continuing towards you to your aura. Oh my god. Okay, that was my action. Okay. Uh, so, Cal, you don't really pay uh, attention to the magic uh, happening on your back. What do, you, what do you do? I run. I take, I take the advice of our, our new comrade. I'm going to run straight through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry. So these are 10 feet, right? So five, oh, so that's 10, 20, 30, that's one. Then the dash, 10, 20, 30, that's two. So I've now burned two of my dash actions. Yep. Um, uh, somebody with, with, somebody... with the way those rules were described to us, you might as well smack one of these guys on the way through if you're allowed to do that while holding Tawny. If she has an action, yes, you can do it. I, I have a two-handed sword. I don't think I'm allowed to do that, unfortunately. Is a two-handed sword versatile? No. Oh. It is called two-handed. Yeah. No, bastard sword's versatile. Not well, a use the whole thing right. as a weapon. <laughs> I, I could use bludgeoning. I could, I could, I Hit a guy with another you know guy. Could do? Actually, you, could could do. you could ram the skeleton, maybe. Here, here, yeah, here's what I, I, could, I could punch him on the way. Yeah, yeah, just run him over, tackle him. Just oh, give him oh, a suck, sucker punch. I can, do an, I can do an unarmed strike against him. Yeah, so do it. Go for it. You're a barbarian. Boom. Uh, unarmed strike. Well, I've never actually done this. 18 to hit, 5 bludgeoning damage. Nice. Okay, so you actually pulverize it because it already uh, took some damage. And the bludgeoning is double, yeah. right? So it's actually yeah. 10 damage. So it's dead. The thing uh, just <laughs> nice. uh, flies in all directions. You have bones uh, uh, dispersed uh, to the four winds. 10, 20, 30. So I'm, I got up to here. Uh, okay, guys. Around. That's it. Okay. Uh, uh, but there is something. While she's mashing the skeleton, Tony points the finger and say, go, mighty warrior of destruction. Yeah. <laughs> OK. So you have yeah. a shrieking voice, uh, Cal, uh, in your ear as you are smashing and running. And, and, and yeah, so ah! OK. Uh, next is actually the, uh, Emily, right? 
Yeah, Emily or Becky Ray. Sorry, Becky Ray has done something. No, sorry, we are Tony, Carl. Uh, now it's Doran. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna keep running. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how you are scaling that, but I guess maybe here. Okay, so I'm just trying. That's it. Dash plus movement. Okay. Next is uh, the monsters, actually. Uh, that would be. But. Uh, 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 by the way, I have a question. Uh, we are yes. running towards the bridge that's connecting to the other side of the city. Is this correct? Because I assume I remember there's a bridge and then we arrive at the chip, right? Yes, that's so, what I understood. Okay, so this sheet is a uh, space between the chip and the bridge. Okay, let me mark uh, uh, something. Uh, those are singles. Okay, yeah, there is a single and here a single. So there are a couple of uh, skeletons that uh, managed to reach uh, toward Tony and Cal. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let me roll attacks for them. That would be 2d20. Uh, that's uh, 11. No. Okay. They are just uh, slashing behind you, but nothing happens. Next is Bicky Ray. Yeah. Well, seeing that happening, I'm out of spell slots, but I can still pew pew, so I'll just firebolt. One that's probably closest to Carl. Um, and uh, let's see if that hits. If not, I'm. Okay. okay. 13 to hit? 13, I think it's a hit, yes. Alright, so 9. Fire damage, please. Okay. I'll let you okay. choose which one. Uh, I'll pick the one on top that is uh, actually sure. in your line of sight. Definitely. And boop, boop, boop. run, you fools. <laughs> okay, running. Uh, how many dashes have you guys done now? I want to. I think we're done three. This is, at least for me, it's the third time, I think. Okay. This current will be third. Oh yeah, that's true. So yeah, we have to keep two, those in two. mind, right? Yeah. Right. This was the third one, so I still have two personally. Okay. Okay. Uh, next is uh, Emily. Okay. Um, first, I'd like to move my hex spell from the now destroyed skeleton onto. Was one of these injured? I, I missed which one you were doing it on. Uh, we kill him. Uh, we kill him. Uh, one is dead. Yeah. Another is dead too, or. No, uh, this one on top is uh, in bad shape. It lost uh, quite a few bones. Yeah, the one that Becky hit. She'll, she'll yes. switch uh -huh. her hex over to this guy yeah. whilst on the run. Yeah. Just, you know, boom, the rune the rune appears glowing over him for a moment, yeah. marking him as hexed. Uh -huh. Eat my witch hex, you horrible creature. Okay. Um, and then blast. <gasps> She's a witch. Yes. And you have you to damage for this. <laughs> You're so perceptive. <laughs> oh. Maybe if we burn this witch, we will end the course. <laughs> exactly. Jerks. All right, so that goes through. No problem. Yeah. And damage would be 13. Yes, so basically uh, the, the, the skeleton dissolves uh, with your rune. rune. Mm. Um, and just fall apart uh, on the spot. And run, 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 run. Yeah, so you run. And uh, how many, uh, I don't know, you, you you kind of managed to, to... We have all used three dashes now. So from the next one... Oh, wait, I have a bear's endurance. How much is that again? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, you just have um, advantage on con checks. Okay. Right. So from now on, you would have to do it, but at least you have advantage. Yeah. Thank you. Be careful not to be exhausted. So next is Tony. How much farther do we have to run to the bridge? Uh, I would say you are 200 uh, yards to the bridge. Oh, that will okay. still take a bit of time. Yeah, uh, we, you know what? we ran 180 ish. Uh, you Can see, I... actually, Tony, when you turn your head to see the, 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 
the skeleton pursuing you, you see that uh, a lot more are pursuing you. So each now uh, circle with no doubt that is around uh, 10, uh, 10 skeleton on the one with the red dot are uh, single. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wow. So uh, apparently how many the, the chapel more are converging uh, in your direction. About how many dash turns, Kigil, do you think we have to get to the bridge? If we keep running at the same speed? That should be another four dashes? Yeah, four at least dashes. four, because 200, yeah. OK. Oh, my god. That's going to uh, be interesting. Question okay. to the master. Can oh. I reach with a mace, with my mace, this skeleton? Uh, yes, you have one that is uh, really like uh, tickling uh, your back, and uh, his sword is kind of uh, uh, starting to, to scratch uh, the clothes uh, you are wearing. Okay, so I, I try this. I try to smash this guy. Okay. I love this image. No. I can reroll. Yeah. Oh, I did a double one. Yeah, goes through. Okay. And so he's that's... looking up and you are smashing his uh, skull. Yeah. It's blood joining shoulder roll double Absolutely. dice. Absolutely, yes. So it's 2d6 plus 2. This is the damage. <laughs> oh. So yes, the skeleton loses a few bones and probably has, um, his lower jaw, but uh, he, he looks at you like he's going to attack you in turn. Okay. Uh, next is a Cal. Um, okay, well, Cal will punch backwards with his fist at that same skeleton. Yep. Um, so do another unarmed strike with a miss. Yeah, it is a miss. And he will just run with yeah. the dash. So you are um, you are still uh, what uh, ten feet uh, behind? Uh, how, how many? Um, well, I don't really know how far they're 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 moving. I don't know how, uh, how far square is. Yeah, let, let's put it rela relative to to each other. And, uh, okay. Um, so I don't know, maybe somewhere like there. Then I guess. Is... Yeah, but it's all relative. It's uh, one square is not equal to to five. Um. Okay. Um, uh, so like that. Yeah. And that's that's another dash. So I've used three dashes now out of five. Let me roll a d100. Sorry. And that's. Is that one out of the four left to go, or is that um? Because there's still four left to go after this. No, no. You ah, uh, yes. Now it's a uh, one out of the four left to go. So we have three more dashes to the bridge. Okay. So for you, maybe it's actually four more dashes because you you. you I'm one behind. Action, uh, yep. Late. Yep. Okay. Four for me. Three for the rest. Twelve. Twelve. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Actually, you level with. Uh, uh, at this point, you level with. Uh, with a skeleton, they they don't really move uh, much uh, faster than you, but they are not behind. Let's speak like this, like this. And you've got one swing against you. Let's see. Eleven. Okay. Uh, you feel the, 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 the wind of the, the sword of a skeleton uh, uh, on your back, Tony, but uh, nothing, uh, nothing, uh, no attack. Good. All right. Next. You see more and more skeleton. You see a lot, uh, a lot of more skeleton. It's kind of getting a black of skeleton behind you. Each of uh, the uh, avatars that you see is actually uh, roughly eight, uh, eight of them. I see. Yeah, and more in the back. Next action is uh, Bekire. Uh, Doran, sorry, Doran. Doran. I think it's Doran. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Apologies. Um, okay, I would like to. Uh, I have oil on me. I would like to splatter oil behind us along, okay. this, along this line, like basically just behind us okay. over here. Okay. So I would like to make this whole area oily and then I will run and dash as usual. Okay. So I will oh, run after idea. that. So this whole area is now oily and after everybody crosses this line, I'm going to light it up. Okay. Um, no, no, no. I hope it's not, not slippery for your uh, cameras uh, behind you, but I uh, will check that. 
Now only Cal is behind them, but I, I already I warned him. Like I splatters are in front of everybody. There's only Good. guys, watch out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here guys. So you 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 splash the oil and uh, you move forward. Next yeah. would be um, uh, Becky Ray actually. Uh huh. All right. Well, I wish I had fireball, but uh... all right. Um, would you say uh, how far are the closest skeletons are from me? Would that be thirty feet? Yeah. Let, let, yeah. Yeah. Let's just... I mean, depends. Okay. I'll just um, say, okay, Seren Ray, light these creatures up so we can see them better. I don't know. And uh, just cast Fear Fire, which is, um, how big is that? A 20 foot cube. Okay. So, I don't know, I'm trying to aim it so that it's right behind Carl. So those okay. skeletons need to make me a deck saving throw. Yeah. Against 14. Against 14? Yeah. So saving throw against 14. That's uh, four of them? I guess so, yeah. Uh, so oh. two of them would catch fire. How many oh, damage is it? Uh, it's not damage. Uh, so two of them, which I'll let you pick, uh, yeah. will be easier to hit. They glow with green light. Okay. So let's, let's pick this one. Why I can't uh, pick... Uh... That's my color. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. Let, so that's a pink. Sorry, it was. Uh, it was chosen. Fair enough. Uh, pink and uh, let's pick uh, this one as well. Pink. I right, thank you. And uh, those will be easier to hit as in attacks with advantage. Yep. Oh, wow, nice. Next is Emily. Oh, sorry, Emily just went to the kitchen. I made me run back. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I okay. move, obviously. <laughs> here I am, here I am. Um, all right, I have a very similar game plan to the last time. I switch over my um, my hex. Oh. Uh, mine as well. What, what does the green dot mean? Uh, it has taken damages. All right. Um, Interesting. All right. Yeah, I, I guess the, the one who's taken damage then um, makes sense, right? Mm. Um, kind of sad because I feel like I could take one down uh, fresh, I but that's okay. Uh, I can't take a full one down on myself. I can take an injured one down. Oh, yeah, that's a good call, but sorry, it's done. Um, uh, so I believe that is a hit. Okay. Okay, so you 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 attack the green one, right? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, it does disperse the, the thing uh, in uh, in a few uh, directions. Collapse. Yeah. All right, and move. All right. So oh, everybody. Oh, I need to make a con save. Yeah. With advantage. Because you are uh, a bear. the the bear. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! Oh. Look at that. I was oh, made no. to fail this. Sorry. I can't see because I'm not there. How, how I got rolled a one and a two. Oh my <laughs> god. No. Okay, so what happens? Uh, I have a table for it. Sorry. I have uh, one one level of exhaustion, so my ability checks will be at... Uh, not only that, you have a one level of exhaustion, but yeah. uh, you actually uh, uh, stumble in a, in, a, in a small hole on the ground and uh, fall on the floor and take uh, two to six... 2d6? 2d6? Holy yeah. moly, that's like falling. You fall like... prone. You really fall prone. Yeah, yeah, falling prone is one thing, but 2d6? But, no, no, you halved it if you manage to uh, make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw. 2d6? That's like falling out of a second floor window. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've Wait, been sprinting, I though. Sprinting uh, on... Uh... Oh, okay. So, like a champion, you kind of roll uh, over yourself on a on stand up back. Yes. Am I rolling the damage? No, no damage. This is, no this damage. is part uh, of the dash rules we didn't know about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, news sorry, to there me. are random events on catch up uh, events uh, that you don't okay, need to okay. know about. Okay. okay. 
So yeah, okay, that was a close call. Uh, next will be uh, actually uh, Tony and Cal. Remember that uh, right in front of you there is uh, uh, some oil. Yeah. So um, yeah. I would like to try to. Uh, how, so it's a. It was oil that was sort of spilled in a line. How 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 wide is that line? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this Tony's turn? I apologize, Tony. Go ahead. I, Tony. Yeah. Sorry, Tony. Go ahead. Yeah. And. So I realized that actually the skeletons are attacking me, not Cal, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cast this spell on myself. Yeah. Let me copy it. Oh, I think like this. Shop. Did you copy it? Yeah, I'm going to cast protection from ev from um, evil on myself. Actually, you have a hand if you remember well. Yeah, it, it has charges, right? I'm going okay. to use my spell my okay. own one so that's it that's my turn okay cool uh cal it, ob obviously it's from undead because i have to choose yeah. it will be undead uh, are you guys still carrying the idol uh, i'd like some uh, clarification about that yeah I, i'm carrying both the hand and the idol okay okay cal um okay thanks Apologies for, for interrupting you there, Andre. I, I got confused. Um, the the line of oil that's in front. This was spilled by Doran. How yeah. how big a huge thing is this? Is it, it's a line or it's like a lake? Uh, I would say it's that a... uh, it's uh, spread uh, on the three squares uh, in front of you. That's uh, like uh, yeah. an obstacle, a five feet uh, long obstacle. Like five feet, five feet long. So I need to basically make a leap of five feet to clear yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to do athletics to try to leap that. Absolutely. Okay. Oh. Jeez. Yeah. So let's see how bad it is. Let me uh -oh. check. Go do a dexterity check to see if I. Uh, yeah. Do a dexterity work. check. Uh, acrobatics. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think. Oh, nice. Okay. That's, I'm glad. that's not a critical, uh, right? No, it's an 18 plus two. It's not critical. Okay, so that's uh, 1d6 uh, bloodshedding damage divided by two. Did I fall? Uh, yeah, you fall, but uh, you, you you manage to... Actually, yes, you fall. Randomly, uh, it gets entangled in tall grass. Uh, yeah, you fall prone with... Uh, with um, uh -oh. Tony, on your back. Tony, maybe you you get uh, 1d3 uh, uh, damage as well. Okay. So, I'm sorry, and I got 1d6 damage? Yeah, 1d6 damage divided by 2 and 1d3 for uh, uh, okay. Tony. Gotcha. So, 1 damage for me. 1 damage for you, and you are prone. Tony? I think there is no D3, so I will roll a D6 and yeah. half it. Yeah. You can you can just type three. in the chat too. You can roll any kind of die you want. Oh, I have no idea. Anyway, three. So that's three. So. Yeah. As I'm a tall guy, you fell from father. Okay. Ah. Tony, fortunately, if you could put your icon uh, on the on the side of uh, Cal. Um. So let's see. I still have my movement. My that was my my. I still have my dash action. I guess. Uh, I mean, you're on the floor. Yeah, I don't think I'm, you can make I'm right. Sort of to stand. Or no. Yeah, it's like half half a movement to stand. So you could move maybe another fifteen feet after that. I think. Okay. So get back up and get a little distance. I, actually, what I'm going to do, I think what I would do, is I would I would stand using half the movement action, then I'd use an item interaction to try to grab Tawny's hand and help her up. And oh, okay, it. nice, nice. So just try to at least get to our feet and we're standing here at the oil. And I try to, you know, remount her on my back. And uh, that's it. Uh, where is Tawny's character? I don't know, maybe Tawny you should run. You know what, I don't put her on my yeah. back. I let her, I let her run. We didn't put the me. token yet, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, if you could just put uh, by the side uh, so we can see you. Yeah. But can I put the token by myself? Huh? Uh, I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah I can. Yeah. Yeah. No, put it by the side. Yeah, okay. So, Doran, Paladin, uh, you see uh, the consequences of your old spin. 
Uh, okay, so anyway, they are past the line now. I mean, they fill and they stood and all that, but they yeah. passed the line now, so yeah. I can light it up, basically. Okay. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to throw Alchemist's Fire behind, towards okay. the oil, basically. Okay. And then I'm going to run again. So I'm going to light that oil up and just throw Okay. Uh, that does uh, light up and uh, there's no, no problem with that, no issue I can think of. The skeletons on their side are, are kind of... Uh, Slowed down and uh, trying to go around the, the flames. And you don't really see what's going on behind you, but you hear more and more and more movement. It's really like uh, the full skeleton army is following you. Tani, just give him the statue. Hmm. <clears throat> Next is uh, actually Emily. No, Becky Ray. Sorry. Hmm. All us girls blend together. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I still see at least one of those glowing green. Uh, specifically this one. So that's okay. Okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that guy gets a fireball to the face with advantage. Boom. All right. Two fires, seriously? Oh my god, okay, two, okay, no, well, yeah, but uh, that's adding a bit uh, yeah. heat to the skeleton, but yeah. still, still. That's it. Yeah. And I used up my last. Um, Dash thingy. Dash. So yeah, after this, yeah. I will have to roll. Wow. Okay. So you are still uh, two dashes away after this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next in line is uh, Emily. Okay. Um. Uh. So this one is uninjured. Yeah. I'll try to take that one down. So boom. Switch over my um my hex. Yep. And uh, fire it away, fire in the hole. Okay. Only, oh, it's really like my character sheet is acting so weird. Let me just close it. Oh. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to refresh the page. It's uh. Oh, maybe you can me. just roll the, the dice uh, on the on the side. Uh. The, fra the whole page is frozen up for me right now. I need okay. to refresh the page. Sorry. Okay. Uh... If it's still frozen, just roll a physical dice. We trust yeah. you. <laughs> I don't trust me. I, I trust the uh, the calculations <laughs> from the the sheet more than I trust myself. Oh. <laughs> sorry, still still logging in, gentlemen. Thank you. Sorry for waiting. Sorry for making you wait. That's all right. Er, logging, logging, logging. It's okay. Don't don't stress. Although the situation is stressful, stressful. I, I agree. <laughs> we're, we're having fun, right? No, no, no. All right, I'm in. Nice. Okay. Okay. What did I get? Oh, excellent. All right. Smack. Yeah, completely uh, smacked. Disappear. Uh, uh, hold on. I can't make them disappear. Okay. Yes. Right. And continue running and roll for exhaustion. Yeah, go for it. Please don't fail like you did before. That was horrible. Well, that was a, a critical failure, I must say. <gasps> oh my god! I have advantage. I have advantage. Yeah, you do. Yeah, she has advantage. Uh, yeah. That's actually <gasps> a twenty. Thank you. You saved me. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll grant you another uh, free dash. Uh, suddenly, uh, you you find in yourself a new energy, and uh, if I get too far, I won't be able to attack the <laughs> do, do the attacks though. Or you can use your free dash for another attack if you want. Yeah, that was the second win. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm. 
All right, I will do a second attack. Um, okay. I can't, I can only move um, my hex using my bonus action, which I've already done. So I can't move the hex, but yeah. I will do a regular attack. Okay. Check something. Smack. Nice. Nice. Okay. Oh. Excellent. Wow. Uh, and I will do that much damage. 11 on who? Oh, I thought it was a 17. No. Oh, yeah, I wish. Okay. Yeah. 11 damage. Okay. Not that. Right. Okay. okay, next is uh, actually uh, Tony. Tony, you're on the floor grabbing your bag yeah. uh, with uh, the, the idol on the yeah. hand. So due to the situation, I don't try to climb back on Cal. Anyway, okay. they, they want to attack me. So mm -hmm. basically, I can use my regular action as a dash yes. and the bonus action as another dash. Yes. So I will do that. This means I will run 50 feet. Yeah, I'd say you catch up. I'd say you catch up. I mean, you have 50, minute, 50 normal movement and a free action dash and an, and an action. But you can't dash twice in one turn uh. unless that's... So you can't. Uh, Are no. we sure about that? Yes. So I will move. It means I will move. Well, it means unless I will Unless the GM move says differently. 25. I'm so sorry. I will shut up now. <laughs> no, no, so you're all right. Thanks for helping so it, I will move 25 plus 25, it's 50, right? Yes. Yeah, so I will move, I will run away by 50 feet. And this is so, my action. Yeah, I'd say that basically you are right behind them. So like yeah. here. Okay. Okay, that's a further, further one. Okay, next is a Cal. Cal, what are you doing? Okay, so these guys aren't really close enough for me to punch without slowing down. So I'm just gonna no. run. No. So I'll just run and catch up. I go, um, where do I go? Where do I go? I guess I'm going to go behind here because she is almost out of um, dashes. So that will be a dash of mine. So that's now four out of five dashes. And yep. I believe we now have, the, the other party have two more to go and I've got three more to go to get to the bridge. Mm, yeah, probably. Okay, I have bad news for you. No, it's a Doran turn, sorry. Bad news. Doran. Hey, yeah, I'm just thinking, do you guys want some more oil or just run? <laughs> run. <laughs> more oil. Okay, I'm going to do it again then. Okay, since everybody has caught catching up, like they caught up last now, it's time for more oil. I'm going to put oil on here around this side. I'm gonna okay, one that. action. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Another color. Uh, behind this big, another splatter. Another pile of oil around this area. And okay. Run again. This is my final dash. Okay. So I have bad news. Uh, actually, uh, those things are, are reaching the oil area. Let me roll for them in terms of uh, athletics. They're not very athletic, are they? No, okay. Uh, one of them is uh, completely uh, falling on the floor and actually uh, hurts itself uh, so bad that uh, all the, the stones are dislocating. Yes. Um, this one um, just uh, stumbles and uh, slips, but uh, managed to maintain his equilibrium, his balance, and he will attack. Who is that? Cal. Okay, Cal. That's a five plus. Uh, how much is it for the skeletons? I don't know. It's a plus four, nine. Nine. Okay, um, miss you and all those guys are now getting really close, close, closer. Yeah. And oh big, my gosh. You have around 90 skeletons uh, at <laughs> least following you. 90? If not no, more. Nine, yeah. zero? Nine, yeah, nine zero. zero. At least, at the very least. That's Where are they even coming assessed. from? Can somebody else uh, light up that oil because it's not my turn now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't have fire. Next is uh, actually Doran. No, Doran. No, how come it's uh, your turn? Uh, I'm yeah. not sure. Like, if, if I splatter the oil, can I just drop one alchemist fire on top of the oil? No, don't I'm... worry about it. I will light it up. Uh, that would be uh, Becky Ray now. Sorry, Becky yeah, Ray. Don't worry. That's what I was okay. going to do anyway. So please, please. Yeah, I'll please spend my turn to fire bolt. Okay. Thank you. Around there. Yeah. All right. 
I guess I roll. Because I'm trying to hit the skeleton that will light oh. the oil oh, on fire. There you go. Okay, 20. Oh, that's a dirty 20 and the free fire damage, but I guess that's enough. It is a uh, roll for damage. Uh, damage is free, and uh, uh, we roll also. How much is fire damage from the, the fire? I have no idea. Uh, let's make it uh, d8. Okay. okay. That's another three. So six in total damage on uh, this thing here. But all the area now is on fire. So you have a, a, a skeleton on fire that is following you. Yep. And I have to roll for constitution. Yeah. Join uh, me. Join me in exhaustion. Yeah, no, thanks. Let's see. Endure like a bear. Yeah. Endure like a bear. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh, nice. Like a bear. Just like a bear, sweetie. Yeah. Okay. One so. more uh, dash you need to reach the bridge. Okay, so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next is uh, actually um, uh, Emily. Okay. Uh, I think that my next action will surprise no one. Okay. <laughs> I would like to move my hex over. Uh, and no. this guy is on fire? Is any of them on fire? Yeah, he's on fire. He should this be. on fire. Okay, I'll let him burn. Okay. Uh, How nice. <laughs> uh, I mean, he doesn't even have a central nervous system left. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Wait, and what does a red dot mean again? Uh, it's a single. Those who actually don't have a, a dot are uh, eight, uh, a group of uh, eight. Right, right, right. All right. Well, I'll take another single one then. Yeah. In theory. Okay. Uh, oh, no, I might miss. Ten. Oh. Nah. It happens. All right. It, and... it is, yeah, it misses. So you, you see the, your bolt or whatever you're throwing at it uh, going uh, astray. I think I've been pretty lucky lucky with my rolls in terms of my Eldritch Blast, so I can't complain if I miss once. Hmm. Um, so move, 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 move. Oh. And roll for exhaustion. Okay, so Tony, you are two dashes away from the bridge. We lost okay, Tony. so yeah, I as the previous turn, I use my movement plus the dash to okay. move 55 and 50 feet. Okay, you basically uh, catch up, yeah, yeah, let's, let's do a catch up. Okay. Uh, actually, you are, you are one less. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any other action? No, no, no. I use both the action and the free action just to run away. Carl, you have a, a burning uh, skeleton uh, right uh, on your back. Great. My turn. All right. Yep. I'll use my action to punch it, and I'll use my movement to move and my dash to dash. Okay. Go for it. So I'm just using an arm strike again. Oh wait, you know what? I don't have to now. I can now use my um, my two-handed sword. Yeah, you can use your That's sword. Your hands. So I have my hands. Does ten slashing. That's kind of crummy. Uh, that's a fifteen, correct? Yeah, it goes through ten, 10 slashing. Hit. Ten to hit. Was this one damaged? The one on the fire. Uh, okay, so yeah, you, you do, do cut the thing in two uh, vertically. Okay. And, uh, it's gone. Yeah. And then I dash to catch up. So the oil is on fire, so the, the skeletons are a bit slowed down. But they are definitely continuing towards you. Yeah, I'm bringing everything. Okay, so let's put the entrance of a bridge somewhere. Uh, that would be the bridge here. Uh, maybe it's a bit uh, less large. How do you erase? Uh, oh, you just have to select and, ba and backspace or delete key, I think. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, how do you do that? Select, select. Okay. Yeah, just click on it. You should be able to do like a number of things at once yep. too, I that's, think. That's it. Great. Uh, okay. Uh, I need a brush freehand. Yeah. Okay. So that would be a, a bridge more or less. Yeah. 
Okay, next turn is uh, Tony. Well, I think it's me. As before, I just I just oh, reached the bridge, now. I guess. So I moved by 50 feet, like usual. Okay. So, so you reach, I you guess. reach, uh, uh, no, you are one, one, uh, one, away. no, okay. Uh, I'll put a bit, uh, you a bit uh, before the bridge. Okay, next is Carl. I think Orin. we missed Oren and the others first. I thought it was me, but this is Tony, so I just went. Okay. No, oh, it... yeah, actually, yeah, you, you skipped them. He's right. Because the skeleton activated, and now it should be Doran turn. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Me oh. and then Becky. No. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yes, Becky. Uh, no, no, Doran, Doran. No, Doran, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for the bridge anyway, so I just go here. Yeah, okay, you managed to reach the bridge on trans, no problem. Yeah, done. That's my turn. Okay. Next is uh, Becky Ray. Yep. Okay, so firebolt against that dude. Yep. As I continue running, running, and running, running. Let's see. Normal. Uh, yep. 25 to hit, 4 damage. Yeah, goes through a bit damage. And. Nothing uh, extraordinary, but. Nope. Uh, it's, it's, it's... And I have to roll for the thingy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, 12. I think it's a miss. Uh, hold on. You bad. need 15 or something like that. Let me check the rule. I'll also check if I can make this. Better. No, it's okay. You need the DC 10 constitution. Oh. Yeah, DC 10. So it's okay. Cool. Yeah, you find in your spell uh, energy and power that you did not suspect. Exactly. Girl power. You are going beyond your abilities. <laughs> yes. You knew you could do it. Yeah. You can do it. Just do it. Okay. Uh, next is um, Emily. Okay. Um. Uh, same, same. Yeah. <laughs> Move over the hex. It's my yeah. bonus action, and then hit him. Okay. Boom! There we go. Yo. Okay. Back, back to my, back to my normal rolls. Yeah. Oh, me. Oh, that's a nice damage. Okay. Yeah, These yeah. things so just disappear, evap evaporate. So, uh, yeah. We'll hit it. And yeah. then I guess I'm at the bridge, and I'll. Yeah, roll. you are. You are absolutely. You level up with your friends. Okay, and uh, roll my exhaustion. Good. Yeah. And you're good. Next would be Tony. Yeah, as I said before, I use movement and dash together to move 50 yeah. feet. So you catch up, no problem. DM checking, that's a five. Nice, okay. Nice. Nice for who? Yeah, sorry, you have a random event. Sorry, let me check. Oh, good. Random. Dragon appears. I'm sure it'll be good for us. The skeletons trip and take Okay, Carl, I'm afraid to say that if you if you plan to run, you are going to have a minor obstacle in front of you. You need to do a DC-12 dexterity saving throw. PC go here. That's fine. Um, did Emily finish her turn? Yes, I'm, I'm good. I've moved and acted and bonus yeah, action. Tony has uh, moved as well, and it's uh, Carl's turn. Okay. Where, where, is, where is Emily's character, though? I think I'm at the bridge at this point. Okay. You want to move, yeah. Do you want to move your character to the bridge then? Did I? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I thought I was at the edge of the thing and I couldn't do anything. Are we moving somewhere else? I see what you've done. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, missed, I missed that part of the action somehow. Yeah. Thanks space for you. Just let's have everything now. Let me move forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to try to make it. Um, who's, guys, all right. So if I can make it, I'm going to try to move to here, I think. Okay. As I okay. said, uh, on the way, there is a kind of obstacle okay. that you just notice and you need to do a DC 12 dexterity check to avoid the falling. Rolling now. Do not make it. Ah! So you untangle your feet in what appears to be a tall grass. And you fall again uh, awkwardly on the floor. 
and you get uh, how many damage? 1d6 blood draining uh, damage. 1d6, got it. One second. Six. Oh, that's some painful grass. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Razor grass. That's your Razor pinky grass. toe. Uh, I would say that you don't quite uh, reach the bridge because uh, where is Cal? This is Cal? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're halfway. Uh, like this? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, unfortunately, uh, no, it's Doran turn. Sorry. That was my last um, free dash, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Doran. I would like uh, to ask are they following us through the bridge? Like they can cross they the bridge? They are totally following you. Okay, so they will cross the bridge as well. Okay. So, totally. Uh, Mm. Uh, the skeleton is the closest one, right? Yes, it is. Uh, okay, how far is it from me? Okay. Uh, I would say around the 50 feet. Okay, so I can throw a javelin at it and run, basically. Okay. So I'm gonna attack it with a javelin. Uh, it's javelin. just half damage, remember, it's a... Uh... It's disadvantage. Yeah. It's a bit disadvantage. So I'm gonna, it... roll, I'm gonna roll two times. Okay. Uh, first one. Oh, okay. So two times, two times. Let's see. Okay. Oh, so it already did it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so it's. Um, okay, it so it, it goes through, and then I'm going to attack with a javelin. And it's a seven. So seven now. Okay, so that should be the one, and I'll mark it for damage. Yeah, this one. Yes. Okay, mark for damage. Yes. Uh, so now it's uh, the time of a skeleton. So this one is a bit startled, but uh, apparently he's got a, a plan and he, he sees uh, you on the floor. Uh, yeah, we're going to put. Hey, Doran, do you have more oil? Uh, yeah, <laughs> now, yeah. The fridge, the fridge is a choke spot here. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I was, I was gonna do it, but then you, everybody, I think, is just next or not yeah, next quite turn. behind me. Oh, yeah, so next turn when everybody catches up. Here. Good. Let me get there. I hope it's a wooden bridge. <laughs> it's a stone bridge, I'm afraid. Oh. Yeah, last time, last time, yeah, I don't think it's, uh, we can't just cut the bridge. Oh. So this thing, uh, I'm not putting everyone, but uh, you really have a crowd of uh, skeletons in your back. Uh, Cal, I'm afraid you take, uh, 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 let's, uh, let's put it at the... Uh, Something tells me they aren't making constitution saves right now. Uh, that's uh, actually no. you're on the floor, so you are at a disadvantage. So that's a, a six dice. How do you do six dice in D20? 66. Just do slash R space 66. Six slash R. R. That means to, to, to give it the roll command, you do slash R. Okay. Then do a single space and then 66. Oh, we're, 66. We're not doing... Like that? Okay. Uh, oh, no. You no. don't need the first six. Inside the, Wait, you do uh, it like this. Uh, let me type it out in quotes. Six. Yeah. Six. Like this. Yeah. It would look, yeah. Uh, just like just without the quotes, of course. Uh, ah, 6d6. Okay, 6d6. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, 66. Oh. 6d6. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. So, what's your armor class, Carl? 17. Okay. Uh, no, it's uh, D20 that I need, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Same thing. None of them hit. 60, 20. 20. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Illness. So, wow. Oh my gosh. That's, uh, You're amazing. Plus what a hero. Four. Wow. Uh, what's your armor oh, class? Oh, oh, 17? Oh, Seven hit. Yeah, 17. Seven hit. So there are just two hits. Okay. And each skeleton is inflicting you uh, miserably uh, and cruelly. Hold on. Uh, that's uh, 1d6 plus 2. I mean, you already rolled the damage for them before. Hmm? I mean, you could use the 6d6 that you rolled before. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm going to do 2d6. So that's uh, a whooping uh, nine plus four in total. That's a thirteen damage you you get uh, on uh, your poor self. I am bleeding. Yeah, Ouch. bleeding. But so you are you're extending your hand towards your friend. Please, please. All right. Uh, next is uh, actually Doran. Uh, 
I think it's still my turn because I I shoot the javelin now earlier. Ah, uh, okay. The, uh, I, I I dashed again, but because I'm out of dashes, I need to roll for uh, constitution. So okay. I'm just gonna roll to see if I get exhausted or not. Okay. But I think uh, yeah, we use it shouldn't be Doran turn. It's already acted. It should yeah. be. No, no, it's it's the same. Uh, I, my turn is done. I'm just rolling because I used okay, okay, as a dash. So I, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah, just roll for that, and I think it was okay. So that's it. So who's turn? Ah, uh, yeah, it? okay, okay, I understand. Okay, so you, your dash was uh, was free actually because you managed to roll for the constitution. But uh, no, uh, the monster has have attacked, and it's uh, Doran. It's your turn actually. Ah, uh, no, no, that, that's my turn. I already did my turn. It's picky, I think. Yeah. Uh, no, because the skeleton have attacked. Now it should be you. It's a no new turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... <laughs> Um, I hope I'm following correctly because uh, it goes. Uh, yeah, I think I, there was something wrong, but. Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Was, what, what was, I think just... there, there was something wrong, really. Uh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to summarize what happened. Basically, I threw a javelin at this guy first. Okay. Yeah. And then I ran from. I'm going to run in. So from okay. here, one, two, three. But this is with the dash. So I rolled to see if I get exhausted or not that's correct that, and that was my turn but before i ran uh, because ah okay sorry I sorry the javelin, they attacked call so i waited to see what's going to happen no, doran i understand uh what happened is you played then the monster played because you have the same initiative actually now it's becky ray sorry yeah that's what okay no yeah. cool well <clears throat> how bad does call look like uh, he's, uh, he's, he's on the floor, the and the skeletons are attacking him, yeah. and uh, he's lost uh, a few, a dozen uh, F points, I think. That's not great. Alright, well, I think I'll burn my, yeah, sure, I'll burn my last spell and sorcery point. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds from a distance. Okay. Um... So that's just going to be a normal cure wounds, though. But I don't have to actually walk up to him. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Da, da, da. Cure wounds at level 1. Uh, okay. That much. So mm -hmm. you get healed by 10. Nice. Very good. Uh, why did it roll twice? That's... Okay, anyways, I think the 3D dice on Roll20 is bugged. Uh, anyways, and now I have to roll another thingy. Constitution. Oh, wow. Seven oh, Ray nice. smiles upon me. Okay. That's pretty much it. Okay. And uh, just for reference, we have ran for... Uh, 420 feet mm. in a row. So you guys are pretty, pretty, we are pretty uh, athletic yeah. <laughs> while doing other stuff. Endurance of a bear. Yeah, we're all bears. <laughs> okay, Emily, your spirit is up and it's your turn actually. All right. Uh, my spirit is up, is that what you said? Yeah. Uh, I don't have a lot of tricks on me right now that work on skeletons. Uh, I can kind of do the same thing. Uh, I, I suggest you roll uh, wisdom. Uh, wisdom. Uh... Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Back to core sheet. And roll. Wish like a wisdom save or just roll wisdom? Wisdom. Ah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. <laughs> yeah. uh, mm -hmm. So you're wondering whether uh, you will have a place where to make uh, your hair again. <laughs> yeah. Right. Ah, this can't be good for my skin. All this stress. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Your actions, please. Right. Yeah, I think um, I think it's going to kind of be the same. Um, uh, just kind of try to smack one of those off. I can, so the blue, the red ones are all damage slightly no the red ones are singles Single. and those so without uh, a dot are like uh, eight or six or nine or ten all right groups. i'll try to blast one of those off yeah. um that's the green that has damage all right i'm going to go for one that is not damaged because i 
have faith in myself. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, see, that's what I get for having faith in myself as I critically mm. fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. Nobody noticed, but uh, okay, that's uh, that's a fail. <laughs> no, no, it's just a complete fizzle. You know, she goes for the dramatic spell waving one thing and just poof. Oh, well, yeah. All right. And oh, I guess no, she no, has no. to run. Mm -hmm. uh, and her movement on top of that, then. OK. Uh, but she'll yell back some words of encouragement. <laughs> OK. Um, Tony, it's your turn. OK. First things, I want to cast um, Healing ward. I would like target. you to throw a wisdom check, please. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's a 10, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. There are really I numerous will... skeletons, really, really numerous skeletons. You can yeah, I know we can't here. win, but right now, what I want to do first things, I want to cast a healing ward on okay. Carl. Yep. I will... Let me check something. Not if I cast it as a level two spell. Hmm. No, it's not worth it. Okay, I will cast the healing word. And come on, go. Submit. Oh. Okay. 10 HP. Oh, mm, nice. I'm feeling much better. I feel like a bear again. Yay, join then, us in bearhood. I will run here and I want to rise the statue with my hand, kind of like trying to lure the skeleton. Hey! Trying to save Carl. Okay. Okay, understood. Carl. All right. Um, well, I'm going to swing at the damaged one first before running. Okay. Um, at the bottom. So you have to stand up because you are prone at the moment. Okay, so that's half my regular movement to stand. Mm. Mm. Um, and then, sorry, let me get to my actions tab here. Okay, so I will shoot wrong button. Hold on, oh, that would have been a nice hit, but it doesn't count. Okay, 13. Yeah, it goes through. On the damage one. It's a nine damage. Yep, you f finish off the damage. Um. All right. So as great weapon master, um, I, if I reduce a creature to zero, I get a bonus action additional attack. Okay. So I like to attack the second one beside me. Um, this time I'm going to do um, the uh, great weapon master attack. Yep. Oh wait, no, I don't because I didn't use. Before. Ignore that. I didn't use Great Weapon Master when I attacked. <laughs> yep. No, no, no. It's a separate one. I do get it. Sorry. This is the first time I've actually used this. So that mm. does. Um, all right. Let me do this. It's two different things that the skill has. 10 does not hit. So oh, gonna... nice. No, no. Okay. It doesn't hit. Yeah. No hit. Run two, three. So like, all right, this time I used half my movement to scan. So 15 plus 30. So I go 45 five feet. So I don't know, maybe like behind these guys at the edge of the bridge, maybe? Something like that? Um, yeah, a, a bit before. I'd say yes, yes, that would be fair. Okay, that's it. Okay. Uh, more individuals appearing. <laughs> more skeletons? Uh, it, it's the same, but I'm separating them in singles. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I remind you that uh, those guys who um, who don't have uh, a dot uh, represent between eight to ten, maybe six. Uh, those those here, for instance, this one that I move is uh, several. It's a group of skeleton. I'm running roll a con, by the way. I failed my Constitution check. Uh oh, exhaustion one. You start to be exhausted. Yeah. So basically, now they are they are catching up. Yeah. The skeletons are catching up. Okay, and uh, there they will be one, two, three having a, a swing at you. 
Uh, three dark. Look at all those skeletons. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's uh, 22 uh, maximum. <gasps> so you take. Uh, do I have it? How many hits? Yeah, you are hit. You get one hit, and that's uh, uh, 1d6 plus two damage. Okay. Six plus two damage. Yeah. That's a five that's damage. Good, yeah. Five damage. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I'm not too bad. Thanks, uh, my friends. Tony, you will be facing one. Yeah, let's let's try to do the bridge. Okay. He has no. disadvantage on me anyway. Okay. Yeah, no, no, nothing. So he actually come inside the bridge, right? Yeah, it, it does start okay. to, to step on the bridge. Our next one is actually in turn is a Doran. Uh, okay, so they are coming on the bridge now. Yeah. Where's Kel? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't just splatter some oil stuff. Yeah. He might, yeah, might fall again. Mm. Uh, well, I guess he's just gonna run again. Go across the bridge. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna run and roll for dash. So I'm gonna roll for constitution. So yeah. Lost it. Mm. Yeah. And I guess it's okay. I'm fine. Okay. Next is Bikire. Yeah. Um, Firebolt at this dude. And yeah, get away from my Saren sister. And uh, boom. Uh, mm, no. no. I would like to use Favored by the Gods. Okay. Uh, that's a once per short turn thingy. Because Senator really likes me. And add that. So that's a 17 to hit. So it goes through. Yeah, and 7 damage. Okay, so this skeleton. Uh, it, what do you attack it with a fireball? Oh, yeah, the usual fire. Yeah. I'm yeah, a one trick so, pony. So this uh, thing is uh, starting to hmm. catch flames. All right, cool. And All right. yeah, yeah, constitution. I'm sorry. Okay, Are you do a dash bit. again? I kind of have to, yeah. Uh, to get over the bridge. And it, get, you know, yeah, get over yeah. it. Uh, okay, oh, fine. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're outside the bridge here, so let me put you on the bridge. Ah, okay. Uh, next is uh, Emily. Yeah, Emily will. So this one's still up. Yeah. Ah. Honey, you're in like chainmail armor, right? Tony, did you move? Hmm? Tony, did you uh, move? Am I muted? No, you're not. Uh, yes, no, Tony moved, I think. No? It's my turn. No, did you move? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was uh, again. Everyone. Yes, yes, of course I moved, okay. guys. But yes. one reached me. All right. Um, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do that one, just because Tony only okay. has one on her, and I think she's in pretty good armor, so. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I'll, I'll go for that one with, you know, the usual. Bringing down. The, oh, bringing all down right, the, go through. Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Archfey Pain. Uh, there we go. All right. Explodes and, uh, and sprinkle everyone with a fragment of bones. <laughs> yeah. All right, and move. And roll con constitution. Yes. Nice. Okay. Yes. I'll yes. give you one one free action. For <laughs> All right. I'll take it down another one of those. Come on. Yeah. You can... You've come this far. Mm. Oh, well. Mm. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. Over ambitious, maybe, but uh, fair to. It was a bit, a bit rushed, I think. Yeah. Achieved. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next time I'll get you. Yeah. Uh, Tony, you've got some burning skull, uh, skeleton in front of you. It's, the situation is dire, and I was ra yeah. already raised my hand with the. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I said uh, you said that you raised the um, the um, uh, the idol in the air. And apparently, the, that's almost impossible, but you did notice it. The skeletons are turning their attention towards you. 
And then at this point, I throw the statue in the water and okay. then run away. Okay, so you throw the, the, the statue, the idol, on a runaway. Please run away. Yeah. As you slow, uh, as the idol slowly uh, fall inside the, the uh, beyond the, the the bridge, the and fall slowly into the water that is um, maybe 50 meter uh, below. One of the skeleton is uh, going over the the edge mm. and uh, jumping. No. Yes. The other skeletons are also following. Lemming, lemming skeletons. Lemmings, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They are all uh, apparently uh, following. Good call. And this skeleton disappearing into the water. Uh, actually, that's a, a skeleton turn. So this one also is falling inside. And you see uh, another. Uh, uh, Dozen, basically, a skeleton falling. They're migrating. Yeah. You really came from the water, if I remember correctly. So you're a bit surprised because uh, you were on a desperate situation, about to be uh, uh, overwhelmed by uh, this uh, huge amount of skeletons. And now they're suddenly ignoring you and uh, getting uh, towards a uh, place in the water where the idol fell. Wow. I hope they will spend a lot of time in the water. <laughs> hope they cannot swim. <laughs> there, is, there is a bit of a kind of traffic jam uh, at the jumping point, but uh, the, the skeletons are indeed the converging there. How's Carl? Next, next is Doran. Next is Carl. You missed Carl. I uh, miss Carl, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, I miss Carl, but uh, yeah. that's what's happening. Uh, Carl's, Carl's pretty good. Carl's not, not, Carl's not too hurt, thanks to, thanks to his friends, but very relieved that the mm -hmm. army of skeletons is, is veering off, tries his best not to show his relief. Casually mm -hmm. walks over to his friends and says, well, that was fun. <laughs> I am heavy breathing. Good morning, John. I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> So you guys don't know really if it's luck or uh, or whatever or your skills, and have uh, this very strange feeling that you are not totally responsible for this uh, apparent change of event. Uh, maybe more luck than any uh, uh, clever strategy, but you see uh, bit by bit the the, the skeleton jumping, uh, going over the edge and jumping into the sea, and uh, you hear fluff, 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 fluff. Again and again and again and again, all skeleton. Uh, yeah, it's like jumping. 90 skeletons just keep <laughs> diving into the water. Uh, I'd like to uh, perception check from uh, actually uh, Becky Ray. Well, while Becky Ray is breathing heavily because she's yeah. not used to exercise like this. Yeah. Uh, oops, that's not perception, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's my forte, of course. <laughs> a sense of sarcasm. Uh, I oh, am boy. heavy breathing. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Ah, good, bad, uh, they stink even. So it's continuing uh, for a good, uh, I don't know how, what's the pace of uh, falling into the water of those skeletons, but uh, more and more skeletons are just jumping uh, over the edge into the water. Okay. And then suddenly, the last skeleton has jumped. Okay. Um, if 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 you look down at the water, yeah, like any skeletons floating. No. Okay, cool. I think that's poetic. You've returned the mermaid statue, maybe? Question yeah. mark <laughs> to the Probably. water. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Uh, it's been an exhausting run, and it's uh, probably now three uh, fifty. No, a bit, a bit more, like uh, maybe almost four, four, four ish. Yeah, now I'm ready for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the sun is uh, sinking slowly in the horizon. Now, right. I guess we shall, we shall just take time to catch our breath because it was really tiring. Yeah, I guess it's then we shall, then we should, we have. Right? I, I don't think we've broken the course yet, unfortunately. I think we just momentarily took care of those skeletons. Uh -huh. 
So now I think we have two options, guys. Options one, we leave the village like yesterday and go to our camp. Option two, we go back to the church since there shouldn't be any more skeletons there. We barricade it and we spend the night there. Huh. Uh. Actually, the chapel is the safest place because it's still consecrated. If the skeletons would, you know, stroll out of the water at night, we would still be safe inside yeah, the chapel. I agree. I think the chapel sounds like the safest spot right and now. And that was the cleanest place around, to be fair. What was this other place you mentioned? Uh, just we outside. Build up, yeah. We build a camp about like, one hour on the west. Just like outside village. to our cross on the road. But there are three places where you have been. The camp, the cellar of the workshop, and the cabin of um, of Patrick. That's true. We can't, we can't get ourselves one of those places tonight? Why backtrack <sighs> now? Because in the night, actually, more and deeds wakes up in the city. Yeah. Oh. So we were here in one of these houses, was a workshop. And, I mean, it wasn't a nice night. <laughs> we didn't sleep well, yeah. so to speak. Ugh. Here, Honestly, I'm exhausted. At least level one exhausted. Yes, right? So wherever <laughs> we can rest, <laughs> it sounds good to me. I mean... Then let's go back to the church. If you have me. Heroes of Light. Yeah. Okay. It's either... We, yeah, I think the church is our best bet. And, yeah. Okay. After sprinting like 500 feet, I think. I like the plan. Should, should we jog back? So we go back now and hopefully we guys you have to consider that the, the undeeds that are following the idol could be very well bring it back we don't know how they will react they are yeah. not done for and, well, and, so, and also this might be different from the undeeds that wake up at night in the city so these guys yes, might, yes. Come, might come at night to the chapel and yeah. maybe they can enter it normally like, so it might be different undeeds these are different you're right so mm. we shouldn't really spend the night in the chapel, but that's just my opinion. Okay. How long would it take us to get to the campsite from here? How, how many hours? Probably a couple of hours, a bit more. So it's 4 30 now, you said, right? Yeah, I don't mind Maybe either, to be honest. Yeah, sunset is at 7 p.m. because we prayed uh, during right. sunset before. Right. So we know we have time to go back to the camp, actually. Then I guess, so guys, for me, both options are valid. The campsite, it's probably the safest one, but we have two parts of the city. And as we know, there are scouts there, zombie scouts. Yeah, that's true. We've seen zombie scouts. That's completely true. I'm not in a, f in a shape for another fight, to be honest. Yeah, neither I. So, yeah, I, I really think the charge is the best option right now. Yeah. Okay, let's have a vote. What do the other guys think? Carl, what do you think? What does your bare senses tell you? I think uh, I think I take my chances with the church. Right. And you, Doran? I already said my opinion. I think uh, the camp is the safest place and we don't okay. have any evidence that the chapel is safe at night. New lady, it's your turn. Yeah. Could you say that again? Um, I couldn't quite hear what you said, Doran. So basically we have two options. Option one is we go back to the church and rest there. Yeah. It should be safe. It should be safe. Option two is we have a safe camp about one no, hour. I, I, heard, I heard those two options. I just didn't hear his opinion. Uh, I uh, like I said earlier, we we like we only know that we, they were following that statue, and they appeared at daytime around the chapel. But these guys are probably different from the other guys who appear at night in the city center around here. Right. So uh, the guys that appear at night might not like uh, be like the same angle that couldn't go inside the chapel. So at night, uh, the, the guys can come from the city and enter the chapel normally. Like they are, they might be totally different from the guys that we just like ran right, from right. now. So there is no evidence that says that the chapel is safe at night. We just assume that they are the That's same did. But true. we therefore, really don't know. Therefore, what were you? What would you like to do? So 
uh, like I said, uh, it takes two hours to go back to the camp and uh, it's 4 30. So we can go to the camp at 6 30 before Zandit uh, awaken because they awaken at sunset at 7 pm. So we can go back to the camp, no problem. That's what that was my. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's okay. correct, but as uh, Tony pointed out, there are zombie scouts around town, so we would have to be stealthy. We would have to move between houses like we did last time, basically. Yeah. Right between those houses and well, last time, we managed to avoid any problems. But... If we move stealthily and more slowly because of that, will we still make it back to the camp before sunset, before 7 p.m.? Up to the DM right now. Do we think we can? I guess that's the question. I think the concern is that we're a weakened party and we may not be able to withstand another fight. A good fight. Big fight. Okay, anyways, uh, I think you guys outnumbered my votes. So. No, I'm just, just trying to finish the, the, the rest of the, the facts. And if we think we can really make it safely back to camp, it does seem the safest. I just The, the, the risk is that we, we get an encounter between here and camp or you know overnight at camp because there's still a chance of a random encounter that we would have to do anyway. Is camp near the places we wanted to visit next? No, but it's not that far. Uh, okay, so... Is the camp near the next places we want to go? The camp is outside of the city. It's, it's, it's that, like near it's where we want here. to go? No, it's the other direction. It's, it's outside. Really. Oh. It's outside. It's, it's, yeah, it's far. Far but safe. Yeah, that's true. Something changed from the point we entered the chapel as well. Maybe the town is also infested with undead right now. Well, let's have a check. How about that? Let's check the town. If it seems quiet and manageable to sneak past, hmm, we could give it a shot. I like that idea. I have a look on the other side of the bridge around this movie. Around this bridge. I couldn't hear that again, I'm sorry. Uh, we can have a look on the other side of the bridge, like around this area, just to have a look if there are undeads on the other side of the bridge right now. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of moving toward our next target more than anything. Mm. So, like you said, there are two options. I feel like there's actually almost infinite options. Mm. Was the place where this Patrick was safe? I mean, you already killed the frogs, right? Yeah, that place is safe, but the road there, hard to say. Every time we went there, we had to face something. Uh, we we'll probably lost. have a fight if we, if we go there, we'll probably have a fight. Yeah. Like, we don't know if the chapel's safe. It's backtracking. Yeah. Uh, why don't we go toward our next target and just camp? Camp some like Guys, the safest place we I'm find sorry, along the Sorry, I need to interrupt you. My wife just finished cooking, so I oh. really have to leave at oh, this point. Oh, it is like yeah. at six o'clock, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, we. She's Japanese, so I mean, we, we can end. No, no, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, yeah we uh, can yeah, leave yeah. this for next session anyways. Yeah, Sorry, fun. guys, but yeah, okay. it was a nice, nice session. Oh, thanks for playing. Did, does the GM want to know that what we're doing next, though? Um, no, not necessarily. I think uh, you are on, uh, hesitating on the... Uh... Yeah. It's been exhausting and uh, very difficult, actually. So, hey guys, uh, thank you for letting me in. And sorry, I'm such a. <laughs> I'm so fucking talkative. Um, Welcome aboard. I'm yeah, so thank happy you. Welcome yeah. back. Yeah. I had a great time. Thank Let's you so much. Play with you again. <laughs> Just one thing. Shall we coordinate for next session? Yeah, you can you write it down? Um, I really have to go. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Right, no okay. 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 Please go. Please bye go. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm so sorry. The music actually is making it harder for me to hear as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Better. Climatic uh, music. Uh, yeah, yep. yeah. It's, it's good music, but it's hard to hear. Um. Yeah, you guys go ahead. I'll, I'll uh, just say yes a lot because it's your game. So yes, next session I think. Uh, you, you started to face, in my opinion, uh, the big, uh, big uh, threats that are actually looming in this uh, cursed city. You start to realize it's not a simple uh, one, one, one go 
at a, a few monster maybe there is something heavy looming around here maybe it's difficult mm. maybe that's the curse I wonder what would happen if we smashed the statue that's a good question <laughs> well we, I guess we never know now yeah that <laughs> uh, would have been interesting okay it was a good session yeah um, wh when is the next session? Is that what yeah, you said you want to talk about? Uh, that's up to you. I'm um, available in the evening on uh, Sundays. What have you been doing? Like every uh, other week or something? Or once a month? We, or? We've been a couple of hours. We've been doing a couple of hours every... Uh, like the next week, following week, this, this coming week. A couple of hours on Thursday, and Whoa. then the, the week after uh, on Sunday from 1.30. Like every other Sunday and every other Thursday, so it sort of ends up being... Thursday is like 9 p.m. Just for a short test. I, I could not do that, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm in bed by 10 o'clock. <laughs> uh, okay, I understand. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead, I understand. No, no, but uh, So in two weeks, uh, we do... Uh, from 1.30? Sure. Mm -hmm. Or you want to do earlier? I don't mind, I don't have anything. Uh, there's no school activity on Sundays. So well, 1.30 I... works better for me. It lets me do my morning cleaning and things like that. I'm pretty much available, but I think it depends on Andrea and uh, his wife might go crazy if uh, he's doing it uh, <laughs> every week. So oh, the really? question is really uh, whether Andrea can next week or he'd prefer uh, in uh, two weeks. Uh, save it. Yeah, we'll ask him. Z, is it okay for, for you? Um, I'm, I'm okay every Sunday. I don't have a problem with something. Okay. So let's just ask Andrea on how he manages strategically. Sounds good. 